Welcome to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm your host, Jenny Taft. This podcast is the full show from today's episode of Undisputed from start to finish. We've got a busy slate, so skip Shannon. Let's get to it. Welcome to Undisputed. We are live from L.A. I'm Jenny Taft here with Skip Bayless and this guy, oh, Shannon no. Sharp. Good morning, guys. You know what? I got to stand up and give LeBron James a standing ovation for winning his fourth championship last night there you go. against uh-uh. the 22 and 28 San Antonio Spurs. Way to go, oh. LeBron. Standing ovation. They won it. Why are you trying to steal it's my It's time friend? to celebrate. <laughs> you got standing it's time ovation. for a parade. Yo, why are you trying to steal? Look here. And sometimes, you know, Skip, we have, uh, at Club Shay Shay, we have special performances. We have comedians that come through. My yeah. boy D.L. Hughley. Yeah. Earthquake has been through. Yeah, Chappelle's coming through. But we had a special Chappelle's guest. Chappelle's just going to, like, come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he's third billing. But, yeah. but last yeah. night, we had a special guest. Old Goat James. Really? And guess what he was cooking with at Staples? What, 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 wait oh. a second. I thought Club Shay Shay serves only hot air. No, no, but sometimes, sometimes, you know, we'll flip the menu. And huh. serve out them dubs. Huh. Yeah. But look at this, Skip. He set the staples on fire last night. Really? If I come to your house and you offer me something to eat, let's just say you frying pork chops mm-hmm. or chicken, if you ain't cooking with this, I'm getting up and walking out. What is that? That's Crisco. <laughs> That's what you really cooking. I thought you cook clean and no, healthy. No, oh, no, no. When you really cooking? Oh. You want to cook with grease? Cook with it, and guess what, Skip? We're gonna uh, pour it in a can and set it right on the stove when Le- we're done with LeBron it. LeBron doesn't eat grease. Yes, he does. Oh, oh yeah. No. He, Skip, you saw that last night, Skip? I wanted you watching it. I did again. not see it. What happened? <laughs> Help me out. I saw it. I don't know if I saw this. I just want to know why you like this. Huh? Like what? <laughs> you know. <laughs> I don't get Club Shay Shay. It changes its menu night after night. Yeah. Because sometimes you want the Dallas Cowboys to come when they lose because you want to associate with winners like America's team. The, the mark of a good restaurant yeah. is to serve its clientele. Oh. I mean, sometimes, haven't you been to a restaurant? They might not have that. Well, Mr. Bayless, mm. we don't have that on the menu tonight, but we be have no problem mm. making that for you. You get that, right? Mm. That Are we old, good, Chip? Yeah, we good. Go, go ahead, oh, Jenny. Oh, go ahead, Jenny. Ask your question. I got that Got me old hood party going on with them old douche, eh? <laughs> <Hennessy. laughs> you need to thank everyone who helped you bring all of this to yeah, the set, because this was a team effort. So we I have... Do, I do want to congratulate you, though. What'd you congratulate me for? We won it all last night. No, we it's didn't. over. So we don't, we don't even need to have a show from here what on. What happened to your Spurs? Celebration huh? happened. You, you and old Ashley who works on the show, what, what happened to y'all Spurs? They're 22 and 28, as I just pointed out. Get, so, and guess congratulations, who, celebrate. If, if you don't mind me asking, who put three of them L's on them? Go ahead. <laughs> Shall we? Can we do this? We ahead, have a great ahead, show lined up today. What does Tom Brady's latest social media post mean for his future? And did we just see the first signs of weakness in Zion? Who, who that question? I'm not so sure about that one. First, apparently, we have to talk about LeBron's huge night. <gasps> the Lakers showed up big at Staples Center last night as they took down the Spurs 129-102. to LeBron was feeling it from long range hitting five straight threes in the fourth quarter, and he ended the night with a game-high 36 points to go along with seven rebounds and nine assists. So, Shannon, how impressive was your guy, Mr. LeBron James, oh, last oh, night? Give me very impressive. Mm. And I think this was the virtuoso that you were talking about yesterday that you wanted to see on Friday night. This is the performance that you were looking for. Mm. Isn't that the virtuoso that you were looking for? Well, he only had 17 through three quarters. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now, every time I tell you what Dak has been doing, you tell me, Jenny, are there four quarters in a football game? Oh. Jenny, is there four quarters in a basketball game? That's what you always uh, ask. I now- don't ask Jenny, I ask you. <laughs> I'm here too. Yeah. yeah, okay. So is there four quarters in a basketball game? And you said you wanted to see something. You were, I want to see. I mean, I just want to see him. I wouldn't have a problem with it. Mm-hmm. Because you said that LeBron James has been taking all them shots. He's been stat padding. Mm-hmm. But he came out last night. Because you know they made a run. Now, you know everybody makes runs in the, in the NBA. Old Spurs trying to make a run. And see what happened? Yo guy, Lonnie Walker the four, started talking. He hit a three. He run over the court, chirping with O'Bron. Bron said, watch that young fella. <clears throat> you ain't got enough years under your belt to talk crazy to me. Ba-bam. Mm. And then he hit that with that job. Tell him who I am, y'all. Mm. Ba-bam. Lonnie Walker's 20 years old. Go ahead. Yeah, and beat him. And beat him just like he was 20. You don't talk to a man, Skip. Mm-hmm. Lead a man alone. The man was, hey, was going along, going along for a night. You know, we wasn't trying to do too much, but Lonnie started started bumping his guns. Mm-hmm. Skip, look, 
We know LeBron James loves to play downhill. He can. But if that shot's falling, if his outside shot is falling, Skip, you got no chance. And the, the only difference between this game and Friday night, he took eight threes on Friday night, he only made three. He took nine last night, he made six. Mm -hmm. The shots were there. They just didn't fall. He had some great looks. But look at this kid. Ooh, that's a thing of beauty. Mm. That's a thing of beauty. Ah, oh, ah, uh ah. -uh. You know, Popovich started this. Oh, get off him. Back, you, you, back off him. <laughs> I thought Popovich was, there, was in there, uh, you know, when they bring the planes in. He's like doing this right there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Back off him. Okay. Can you believe that? Yeah, I can't believe it. That one of the greatest coaches was saying, don't even cover yeah. the quote unquote great LeBron James, mm -hmm. the king. Just mm -hmm. let him shoot so threes. Let him, let him and that was in finals in 2013 and 2014. And also back in 2007. Or so 2000, hold on. 2007, he was just a lad. He was like mm -hmm. 22. Okay. In the finals. Yeah, couldn't even win a game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, couldn't yeah. win a game. We're not you just believe Skip, it? Skip, we're talking about last night. That was Prince James. You know? <laughs> we're talking about last night. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. Skip, and he started out, he's trying to get everybody involved because the first quarter, he only took two shots. Mm -hmm. So you can tell the way it was going that he wasn't like, okay, let me get AD involved. Let me try to find my three-point shooters. Let me get them off, and then everything else will fall into place. But boy, that thing started cooking. He put, mm -hmm. he pulled his old Crisco out. Yep. Skip, now you know that, that's, 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 that's responsible for a lot of restaurant fires. A lot of homes been burned down because of this. Because this thing burned hot. Yeah, you won't find it in my yeah, house. Yeah, but that, that burned, well, you ain't going to make no threes. Mm -hmm. But then you'll find it in the Staples Center. Huh. Oh, boy, that thing started, he started cooking. Mm -hmm. I said, LeBron, don't do that. Uh, he pulled up from Barstow, mm -hmm. pulled up from Bakersfield, mm -hmm. let one go from San Diego. Mm -hmm. I said, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Skip. Mm -hmm. and, after, after, and then he did this right here, Skip. Thank you. I'm going to the bench. 34 minutes mm. and drop 36 on y'all head. Mm. Tell me when it's it's my turn. Turn. Thank you. Please. Finally. Like Is the show here. over yet? Because I haven't spoken yet. <laughs> now let's put this in some perspective. Let's get all this baloney out of the way. Yeah. This Jeez. Crisco fried baloney out of the way. So okay. Okay. I can actually bring some Please. real wisdom and perspective of what happened last night at mm -hmm. Staples. You don't mind if the science day, do you? I'm going to say it one more time. <laughs> Greg Popovich has put an eyesore of a basketball team on the floor for the San Antonio Spurs. Greg Popovich is getting exposed because he used to have a calling card called defense. Yeah. And this team, which is really the same team plus DeJounte Murray that made it all the way to the wire of Game 7 against Denver in the playoffs right. last year, which was pretty good, right? Pretty they good. took Denver all the way to the yeah. wire at Denver mm -hmm. in Game 7. This team is 24th in defense and 25th in three-point shots allowed, three-point makes allowed. Mm -hmm. So they, they play no little to no defense. And that team last night was down 13 going to the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. And I want people to understand this. Let this please sink in, all you people out there who get blinded by this man. <laughs> LeBron James still is, now he's pulling away. LeBron James has taken more shots than anyone in the NBA in the fourth quarter. Think about that. So the man you were trying to tell me yesterday, oh, he's not a natural born scorer, so there's no way he could have scored 60 in the, the, the game after we lost Kobe. You know, like that, that wasn't his kind, that's not his bag. He's, not. he's a facilitator. Yeah. Baloney, he's a facilitator. He's shooting it like crazy, leading the NBA in shots in the fourth quarter, leading the Lakers in shots per game over. He's, he's taken almost 20 a game. AD's down here at 17.9. LeBron James has taken the eighth most shots in the NBA. He also leads the NBA in assists. God bless okay, him. Okay, then, so what'd that make him? Okay, it makes him the, the classic combo guard who is jacking shots like crazy. <laughs> oh, he's jacking so shots So he's now. Not, not really a true pure point. No. He came to just, I always call him still the best passer right. in basketball. But last night was the classic case. He has become the king of fourth quarter stat padding in oh blowouts. In blowouts. This is out of control outrageous. They're up 13. And here he goes. And by the way, that their team had not made many three-point shots. Right. And, and before I get to what happened, can we see the three that he took at the end of the half? He's trying oh, to do you a go. two for there one. There you go. There no, you this, go. See, this, I do. This, this, is, this is vintage LeBron. Uh, wait, that was five feet yeah. right. I, I, I don't know. I think he's trying to go two for one. I'm just going to take this shot. Yeah. LeBron, that missed by 
five feet right? That's okay. He was just Wide right. Up. He was just, he was just sizing, sizing it up. Yeah, so make sure just, aim. Just, okay, this man is, I want everybody to understand, he's wearing his LeBron jersey. He's talking about Club Shay Shay Vintage Night historical performance by LeBron James. And that happened at the end of the first half. So now they're up 13. If they were down 13, I would give in to this. But they're up 13 on a pathetic Spurs team. So they're pathetic now. It's pathetic. Oh, and, oh no, that, That's okay. not the th- Spurs team that beat the Bucks and yeah, the Celtics, is it? Really on the road, yeah. that's not that Spurs not team. Not okay. lately. So all of a sudden, here's what happens. I, I'm going to give you the scores of what, what happened when he made his threes early in the fourth quarter. Starts with 11, 27 left. That puts him up 13 again. Then he, the next one puts him up 14. The next one puts him up 17. The next one puts him up 18. And the fifth one puts them up 21. And then he adds a two-point layup that puts him up 23. Mm-hmm. Stat padding. <laughs> it meant nothing. Game over. Front running. How are you front? You're, you're front running like crazy. You're just trying to catch Kareem. This is a night in which you're. No, we ain't trying to catch no Kareem. You're we, chasing Kareem. We can't catch him last night. Okay, but but you know you got to catch him because what you do is you get a team down and then you kick it. Yeah. That's then what you, you just jump all yeah. over it. And LeBron is the classic. You know th- this this is as far from clutch as you can get because this requires no clutch. This is you know, a car without a clutch. It's just going downhill is what's happening. So so in other words, you say this wasn't impressive at all. Five straight threes. Okay. He, he is known to do this on occasion. But the, the most impressive I ever saw was back in 2014. I'm, I'm sitting in my room in Bristol, Connecticut, mm-hmm. watching this one. In fact, the date was March the 3rd. They're playing Charlotte. Charlotte. He's, he's with Miami yeah. at, in Miami. Oh, you already know what happened and, when he played Charlotte. Okay. Because that well, guy owned the ball. It's a Jordan thing. Yeah. But, but, again, it's not at Jordan. Right. It's at it's Miami. Right. But he scored 61 that night, and he hit eight of ten threes. And I'm just sitting back in awe of that game because it was Was that like the mask game? Isn't that the game he had the mask? Hmm? Did I, didn't he have the mask on then? I don't remember a mask. What do you mean Remember mask? he broke, had a, uh, I think he broke his nose. Somebody hit oh, him had a, had had a, the mask. He, oh. he might have. Yeah, I think he had a mask. Yeah. He have, maybe he should try to yeah, get it. No, no, we don't I need don't to know. do that. We don't need to do all that. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at LeBron James, who does have it in for Coach Popovich, because Coach Popovich shamed him a bunch of times. And he said, remember, he hit four threes at San Antonio back on November 25th. Yep. And after that game, he said, Mr. Mike Trudell on the, the – uh, local mm-hmm. uh, Lakers Spectrum. Sports. Yeah, sports spectrum uh, telecast. He said, because of the Spurs in a lot of my early years, they are part of the reason why my jump shot is a lot better today. Hmm. Well, to his credit, he got shamed, he got dared, and he said, okay, I got to fix this. Yes. And and it's it's okay. He's like a 34% three. That's pretty it's, good. It's okay. I, I know a guy that was worse than that. I ain't going to call his name, but he got a logo. Hmm. Yeah. Who, Jerry West? No, 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 no. What are we talking about? No, you know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you're talking about. I'm talking about the guy that does this right here. Oh, that guy. He's the worst three-point shooter. (laughs) Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up. We're going to talk about him in a couple of minutes. Look it up. Yeah, I got a whole lot to say about him. (laughs) The the point is that last night, LeBron is still taking it out on Popovich. And and I I told you before. If LeBron plays mad, that's when he's at his best. It's not often that he plays mad, but he still has a vendetta against Popovich, and they try to make nice and love. We're good. We're going to be on the West Coast. We're going to do Pop solid. We're going to play on the Olympic team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know about that. What you mean you don't know about that? I don't know. Does he really want to do this? Yeah, we want to do this. Yeah. Really? That's what we do. Okay. We love representing the country. Well, they always hug and kiss and, you know, all but But he, deep down, he knows that uh, all I can remember from Popovich, especially in 2013, was this. D- just just get, get, get away. Get you back do remember off. what happened, though, right? Yeah, I do remember, and I'm glad you brought that up. Okay. 2013, game six. Woo! Seven seconds left of, the, of a game in which my Spurs sort of just walked go. away with it. This is when the money's on the table. What happens? LeBron LeBricks a three so badly that the goes to long rebound to Chris Bosh, who kicks it sweetly to Ray Allen, who swishes it. Well, that, that, I that know that. Who's worst, that number two, Skip? Who's that number two for the Spurs? My so life. Pretty. Worst moment of my life. Skip, who's that number two for the Did Spurs? You see how badly he missed it. It's just a complete LeBrick. That was to tie and send hold it up, to overtime. Hold on, but here's the thing, Skip. 
you always say you got to put the things in the proper perspective. Mm -hmm. You got to put things in context. Yep. Now, I need you to tell, I need you to frame this, mm -hmm. how it actually happened. To start the fourth quarter, the Miami Heat are down 10. Mm -hmm. They're down 10 to the Spurs. Mm -hmm. Okay, LeBron James scores 16 points, makes three threes. Mm. He also assisted, scored or assisted on 22 of the 30 points they have in the fourth. Yep. Okay, he missed that shot. Mm -hmm. Long rebound. Wait a second, you missed out the, the, the key detail, last three minutes of the game. Yeah. He LeBron had James had three turnovers in the last three minutes, and they were completely unforced errors in which even I, rooting for my Spurs, sat back and said, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. He's just gagging the game away. Yeah. And my team said, we got it, we got it. He let love y'all into it. Up five with 18 seconds left. Love, love, and guess what happened? Who went to the free throw line? There were two guys. The greatest clutch player that you said in NBA history next to Michael Jordan mm -hmm. missed a free throw. Jordan. And there's another guy yeah. that you love so much now. Even though he quit on your ball club, he, did. he missed one. He but did. if you don't mind, tell the people what happened in overtime. Who did what in overtime? My team was shot in the heart. Why you all over? Hold on, hold on, hold on. My team was dead to rights. They were just down on the floor Jenny, gasping. Yeah. Jenny, I, I know you remember this Ray conversation. Ray Allen did him in. I remember. Ray you. Allen saved LeBron's okay. legacy. Okay, okay, okay. We, 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 Should be two and seven in we, the finals. We, we'll do it like this here. Now, I remember a game in which LeBron James had 49 points going into overtime against Golden State. And you're like, LeBron, shoot it. I said, well, the man's distraught. I mean, you had, you played a perfect, almost perfect game. I said, he's distraught. How do you overcome? You LeBron James, you got to overcome that. Mm -hmm. But you got Duncan, you got Manu, you got Tony Parker and Pop, and they, uh, they can't get over that. Did Steph make a three to tie at the buzzer to send it to overtime? No. No. LeBron passed up a shot on Steph. It would skip. What was more egregious, the guy has a rebound two feet from the basket, runs outside of the tie ball game, past the three-point line, and lets time run off. It's almost like Jim Marshall running the wrong way. You're a hopeless underdog, and if <laughs> I told LeBron before the game, you're going to get to overtime in this game of game one of the finals at Oracle, no, no. he'd say, I'll no, take it. No, 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 no. He says, yes, 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 yes. He says, how do we get to overtime? So you're going to say, LeBron, you're going to go into overtime, but you're going to have a chance to win it in regulation. J.R. Smith is going to get a rebound with four seconds on the clock, and he's going be two feet from the basket but what he's going to do instead of laying it up he's going to dribble out past the three-point line mm. and let time run off mm. you think lebron takes that mm. hell no mm. skip get out man look at we're not talking about the finals we talk about last night i got a lot more to say about the finals. let's talk about friday night because yeah. that was oh. the night that, that was the, that's when i said lebron is going to show us he is the king he had made big bold statements via instagram Kobe, I got you. I'm going to we carry on your legacy. I'm going to be you. Katie. So here we come back to Staples for the night, as LeBron called it, to celebrate Kobe Bryant. And I fully expected the king to go for 60 the way Kobe went oh, for 60 goodness. in his last game. You know good well LeBron James wasn't going to shoot the ball 50 times. He, he went for 22. Right. And with 103 left in that game, he had a wide open three to tie. Now, if you can make this one, I'm impressed because this would have brought the house down. Here he is, Trevor Reza falls backwards. He actually pushed in. No, he didn't. And then he sort of leans away from a three. He didn't step into it because he had no thought about actually making this. Oh, but the, I'm afraid skip, and I'm going to fall back. Skip. Did you look here. Now he you shot know, a wide open fadeaway. You do, how, know, how you do, you know how basketball works. Mm. Now, what's the difference between last night, Dame Lillard's shots he took last night against the Nuggets, mm. and all the shots he had taken leading up to that? Mm. The, before that, they were going in. Last night, they didn't. Okay. okay, the only difference between... Friday night was LeBron's night. Skip. It's the a shot. great speech, and I thought he would cap it off with an exclamation <laughs> point, a rally to come from behind against Dame's team mm -hmm. to win the game. Well, if you make that three, yeah. you can wear your jersey. I you can, can wear it. Oh, hold on, okay, hold on. There you I, go. I, I'm not, you're trying to shame me. I'm talking about last night. Jenny Ed didn't ask me about Friday night. <laughs> she didn't ask me about Saturday night. She asked me about last night. Okay. And you keep on going back I, to 2013, 14, how, 2007. How can you celebrate Easy. against a team that has allowed the 25th most made threes in the league? And you made five early in the fourth quarter of a blowout. And, no, no, no. Of a blowout. No, 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 hold on, Skip. At one point in time, we were already up 25. And you guys willed it all the way down. The, all the way down to the 13th no, at one, to the at, fourth? At one point, no, no, no. We got the, we got the last second bucket, uh, a two-pointer, right before the third quarter. So you were at 11 and then made it 13. Okay, but he, when he made his run, they're already up 13 points. And LeBron, and LeBron says, I'm going to end this. A.D., 
you're going to take the rest of the fourth quarter off because I'm going to win this. Mm. And he go, bam, 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 bam. Wow. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. Open up Shay Shay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Open it up. That one I do right now, featuring Go James. You know what? It, it, it should have been open last night because this was kind of a loser game for the Lakers. There you go. There you it go. was. They the back. Is, yeah. yeah. They, they belonged at, at the Club oh, L. Say, say. It's Club L. Got, got Go James on the yeah. sax. Yeah. Oh, man. He could play that sax. On the sax. Yeah. Yeah. Skip, at some point in time, I know you were impressed with what you saw last night. I've seen him do this before, and I actually love it when he does this because you know what usually happens? Oh, you think the next game that? is like, I got this, and he goes one for ten. They got to guess what we got? Mm. We got Houston. Mm. You want to put some do on that right now? Mm. You want to put five games of do on that right now? Mm. So the Lakers will probably start a lineup that is eight inches taller on average than the Rockets, <laughs> right? Rare. You didn't take that over Daryl Morey. <laughs> yeah. That ain't got, got, got nothing that. to do with it. But Skip, know. last night was special. Last night you saw him had to go. Special? Yeah, Are he had you go. really going he had to go. special yeah, he was on this? Special. He was you're going the goat ball. mask. You, you're, you're diluting the power of the goat mask. No, no, no. You're wearing it. For he a game in which uh, you beat a 22 and 28 team that will not make the playoffs. First, hold on. You didn't say that just the other day. They went to Milwaukee. You said the Bucks are the best team in basketball, and they, were, they beat them. They were playing back to back. The, I, what did I tell you yesterday? The Clippers had tenderized them, and you got to, as you said, put them on the Barbie last yeah, night. Hold on, right? but I, hold on. I remember it was probably two weeks ago. We played Orlando on a Tuesday. Yep. They beat us. Mm. You guys played them on a Wednesday and blew them out. Uh, you didn't uh, mention anything about we well, us. Who tender. cares about I, that? Okay, I mean, but now really you cares? care. Yeah, but who invented load management? Greg Popovich. He's been load managing his whole career. He instills in young Spurs that back-to-backs are lethal. They are dangerous. Skip. So mentally, a lot of Spurs take off last night. Skip. Did you see? You watched the game from the start. Yeah. The Spurs were not into the game. Skip. Hold on. Did you see LaMarcus let me ask Aldridge you a last night? I think he was out let, there. Let, me, he, let me ask you a question. In the first 10 years, how much did Tim Duncan load management? Load manage. The How first 10 years? Yes. A whole lot. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Jim Duncan was playing 73, 80, 75. Hey, low minutes, managing minutes. Well, skip it's, it's, it's all, it's, it's his calling card. It's, what, yeah. it's Popovich's style. That's what he does. I don't know whose style it is. Well, it's out of style right yeah. now. Yeah. Cause right now we in style, we in Vogue. Huh. Yeah, so, we skinny. See right now, Skip. See what he did was bell bottom. Mm. Now they might be making a comeback, but we skinny jeans. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we fashion over skinny mm. jeans. You know what I'm saying, Skip? Yeah, uh. they're, they're not the Spurs anymore. They're like the purrs, like little cats. <laughs> purr, they just purr. And that's hard for you. I know. I know. Well, it's hard to watch. It's hard. And, Are we gonna you see this Friday back as back? well? Or? Yeah. No, yeah. You guys, guess what, Skip? Man? You know I'm gonna bring the autograph jersey out on Thursday, on Friday. Really? The autograph jersey. Well, you, you better save something for the playoffs, or maybe <laughs> yeah. you know in your heart of hearts you're not gonna get to the, do the, that in the, the playoffs. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm, I think you might know something's coming. I got in the, the purple. I know. I'm saving the purple jersey and the one that Shaq designed with the stars uh, down in honor of Dr. Bus. Yeah. I'm saving those for the playoffs. Uh, but I got plenty of jerseys. Really? Oh, 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 Randy, yeah. oh, Randy. You know, red part of the four, mm -hmm. five horsemen. Me, you're Randy, now, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horsemen. Yeah. He made sure your boy stopped up. Really? Yep. Yeah, well, you know, okay. Skip, it had been a while since we... It had been a while! So let's let him have his moment today. <laughs> what time is the parade? <laughs> you are guess, be the parade it. Marshall, You know what, Skip? He will be But guess what? It. Now, starting next year, the GOAT mask is going to be coming out an awful lot during football season. Because mm. you know my homeboy going to be doing goatish things. A really? A whole different discussion for a different day. Too bad I can't wear it for that. No mercy. The Chiefs are fresh off their Super Bowl win, and according to NFL.com, they also have the biggest window to win another title. The Ravens, 49ers, and Texans followed Kansas City with the Cowboys having the fifth biggest window. Mike McCarthy's former team, the Packers, came in sixth. The Cowboys were the only team on the list of nine teams who did not make the playoffs this past season. So, Shannon, what is your biggest problem with this list? Problem with Cowboys being in the top five. Mm. How do you have a team window? First of all, they're in solitary. They don't even have a window. Mm. The other teams have windows because guess what? They made the playoffs. How you? How are the Cowboys in front of the Seahawks? Is Dak Prescott better than, better than Russell? Because it looks like to me, you looked at the quarterback situation, you looked at the team, you're like, okay, Chiefs, Ravens, 49ers, Texas. Okay, I can get that. I can live with that. How the hell are they in front of the Packers? The Packers made the playoffs, went to the NFC Championship game, and beat the Cowboys. Mm. Buffalo, 
went to the playoffs and beat the Cowboys. Mm. The Eagles went to the playoffs and beat the Cowboys. Mm. Skip, we need to start with this. I told you, the number one is not injuries that derail a team season is expectations. And every year you have these same expectations. You know what, you gave me a hard time. Shannon, you sit right here in 2016, Tom Brady's and Tom Brady's last year. You've been saying the Cowboys, this is the Cowboys year for a quarter century. Mm. 25 years. That's not true. Now eventually, Skip Bayless, you're gonna be right. But I, unfortunately, I just don't know if you and I gonna be on the air when that happens mm. 25 <laughs> years from now. Mm. You, they might be like the Chiefs. Mm. It might be 50 years in between the Super Bowl with the last time they go to the Super Bowl, Skip. That's what it might be. This is ridiculous, Skip. Hold on. Dak Prescott. When is Dak showing up in a big game, Jenny? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Amari. Amari don't play on the road. Well, wait a second. I'm not... Go listening. ahead, go ahead, go yeah, ahead. that happened. When has Dak Prescott shown yeah, up in a like big this. game? Yes. You mean in his life? Are you kidding me? Yeah. He beat Russell Wilson head-to-head in a playoff game. Was that not a big game? Oh. How about against the Eagles this year, the first time they played in Dallas? How about against the Rams when their season's teetering? What happened in that game? Really? Yeah, the Rams. really. The Rams made the playoff? Uh, no. They okay, just you. in the Super Bowl last year. Oh, uh, no, no, no. No, no, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, you tell me every time Zeke's in decline. He's running like Cabo said. Mm. Even pro football focus said the offensive line is not the same as it once was. Now the defense. You want to talk about that? So I'm just trying to figure the window. What window are you looking out of? Mm. Is it a window or is it a peephole? Because <laughs> it looks like a peephole to me, Skip Bayless. Mm. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. I, I, didn't, did, I haven't spoken. You, you, you should. I, I know you're going to speak. Skip. So let me ask you a question, Skip Bayless. If I say, you know what, if the people, you ask, you poll the people, Russell Wilson or Dak Prescott, who you think they take it? Mm. Aaron Rodgers or Dak Prescott, who you think they take it? Oh, that's a good one. I'll, I'll take Dak over Aaron Rodgers. Take him where? You ain't going to take him to the playoffs. Because mm. all I know is Aaron Rodgers got to, got to the NFC Championship game. Is it my game. turn yet? Just a second. Just, I'll be turning it over to you, Skip Bayless. This is ridiculous. People will keep overvaluing the Cowboys because they're the Cowboys. The Cowboys doesn't have a window. It is a peephole, mm. and you got to close one eye to look through it. Mm. The truth is, the Cowboys might be looking through the biggest stained glass window that you can look through. You can't see through that stained glass. windows thing. are into the future, and all they're doing is evaluating age of team coupled with talent on team. Okay. And you can't fight this because... I got to tell you, if you remove Jason Witten, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be removed, there's still not a player on this roster who's 30 years old yet. You could argue this is the youngest window of any of the quote-unquote good teams in the NFL. Uh, and as Troy Aikman said last week, nearly every coach he sat with before every game that he did for Fox said, I would exchange rosters right now with the I Dallas will, Cowboys. Because my roster plays hard every Sunday. Oh. And they don't base it on how we're supposed to look and projections. What did I tell you? That is Coach Clapp's fault. Oh Coach Clapp is gone. He is now a New York football giant. God bless you, yeah. Giants. You can just Go beat. call all the plays you want for the Giants because you can't call Dallas home anymore. And Mike McCarthy is at least an upgrade over Jason Garrett. I'm not sure what I'm Mike's calling it right now. The Giants over the Cowboys. First okay. game. First right. time y'all play them, give me two cases right now. All right, done. I got it. Yeah, old done. Jason. Thank old you. Jason going to dial that thing up. Okay, we got two cases. Two I cases. got Dallas. I don't even know where the game is. I, I don't, don't care. care. I don't care either because we just went up there and blew them out this year. Now we got Mike McCarthy and they got Jason. Gibbs. Yeah, Jason. So good great. luck yeah. with that. You say Jason is a great offensive coordinator, not too much of a head coach. Yeah. He called it going to be dialing Well, up. there were about six or seven straight years <laughs> when most people would have voted Mike McCarthy the best play caller in pro football, and he is now calling my plays. Even though they say it's going to be Kellen Moore, that's sort of like Andy Reid and Eric Bieniemy. You know how that went, yes. right? I, I think it, it was coming it, from Andy through Eric. Well, here's the thing. Now, I thought the first two games, Skip, the divisional round of yeah, the championship, no, Eric Ben and me called a play. Uh, but the Super Bowl. I sure looked the other it way. It looked like Andy Reid called a play in the Super Bowl, I Skip. I think I'm Eric kind of slipped up in a pre-Super Bowl interview, and he was talking about Andy saying, get the play in like he already told – like it, uh, it's relayed yeah. to relayed. Pat right. from – Eric, right? right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But it, it emanates from the head coach. <laughs> right. And I, I'm not condemning them for right. that because that's what he does for a living. Right. right? always been that guy. Pro football right? focus voted him the best play caller of the last two years, yeah. 2018 and 2019. Mm -hmm. Back to my Dallas Cowboys. 
I'm searching high and low here for somebody over 30, and I can't find anybody. Window, future, what does it hold? Dak Prescott is entering his prime at age 26. Did he get better last year? Even you admitted he what, got better. What are we going to do about the holdout? Okay, wait a second. I, I'm just accepting he's going to be there next okay, year. You what, about, what does Jerry always say about this? What did Jerry say before the, the Z cold right. out ended? Have you ever known me not to get one of these done? That's he, what he asked. But here's the thing, Skip. He might be there. Will he be happy? Well, I just think he's a, he's just a gamer. He's a baller. He's oh, just going to play. But you said that yesterday. What, what did he say? Yeah. If I don't get this deal done, yeah. I won't be at the start. I also told now, you, that. I believe they will get it done before the deadline to put the tag on. March 10th. Yep, it? March 10th. And- Okay, then we go to Zeke. He's all of 24. Then we go to Tony Pollard, who I really liked last year, and he's all of 22. And Amari, I didn't love his year last year, but under Mike McCarthy, I think he's going to have a bounce back. He's he's way up there. He's 25, and, you know, Michael Gallup is way down there at 24. Wow, interesting. And then all of a sudden we hit the offensive line, and we got two old-timers in the offensive line. Ty Smith and Zach Martin are all of 29 years of age. They don't turn 30 until December and November, respectively, of next football season. That's still young men in the heart of their prime. So are, are you telling me they're the same guy? Because I can remember there are a lot of days that you came in here and you say that offensive line got their golden tails kick. New coach, new motivator. It's the same players. Yeah, new offensive line coach. Okay. Travis Frederick is all of 28. Lyle Collins, who was the best of the offensive linemen last year, was is 26 years of age. Should I throw in Connor Williams? I'm not the biggest fan, but he's all of 22 years of age right now is the other starting guard. And that brings me, brings me to Blake Jarwin. I love it. I think he's – like Dak always says, he might be the best athlete on I the like team. I like him too. He's 25 years of age, which leads to my defense. Yeah. Demarcus Lawrence we had on the show the other day is 27. Jalen Smith we had on the show the other yep. day is 24. Leighton Van Der Esch, who has made a Pro Bowl like Jalen Smith and Demarcus Lawrence. Leighton, the Wolf Hunter, is 22 years of whoa, age. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think about that. Hold on. Think crazy. 22. That's crazy. It's crazy. Leighton Van Der Esch. Hold on. Thanks. I'm looking. Is that Luke Kinkley? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, he got a defensive player. Boy, it started yeah, looking like him a year ago. You better stop. It started looking like him. Boy, no, it didn't. You, he, he can run at least as well as Luke. Yeah, Maybe Keekly. better. Maybe better. Skip, you know, you know Keekly going to have a gold it. jacket. I, I got it. Okay. I got it. Byron Jones, I don't even know if they're going to resign him, but I, I have a sneaking suspicion they will, and he's a grand total of 27. Awuzie is 24. Jordan Lewis, who I love, is 24. Robert Quinn had a pretty good year. Will they resign him? I don't know. He's an old man at 29. Jeff Heath is 28. Xavier Woods is 24. Or should I go on? Yeah, I get, They're get, just babies. Yeah, They're just but, like coming into their own but, but, window, stained glass, wide open. You can't see through. It's stuff. like a church window. You, you can't. It's the you biggest church window. See you through stained glass. Yeah, you Second of all, Skip Bayless, their ages. I'm not disputing that. What about that play? Mm. Give me a guy that's 42 years old that can play as opposed to a 29-year-old guy that can't. Speaking of 42, Aaron Rodgers is going on 37 years A of young age. 37. And I'm sorry, he has been in decline for four years because every stat I see, all the key ones, they have gone down for four straight years. And they were hitting bottom this year because his QBR was his worst ever. This past football season, he was 18th were they worse in than QBR. You know who? Huh? Were they worse than you know who? See, you have to change the subject. Oh, my bad. The only way you can even remotely (laughs) win an argument, you have to change the subject. Okay. Completion percentage last year was 21st. That's his worst since 2015 because it's just gone down, 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 down four straight years. 21st? When, when he's kept clean in the pocket, what's his completion percentage? 23rd in the NFL? That's pathetic. Okay, let this sink in for just a second. His worst stats, his worst year is slightly worse than Dak's best. Mm. Let that sink in mm. for just a second because Dak Prescott can't reach that level in 27 Speaking and 2011. Of sinking, the sun is sinking into the horizon for one Aaron Rodgers. And he's already talking about, I'm on the back nine and I can yes! see the 18th hole. Yes! Tom Brady's talking about seeing the 18th hole. Yep. Nope. He's he's starting about, he, it's like, I'm on number one again. Those he's going to start his career over. Those, those are the guys. Those are the guys that can't see the forest for the trees. Mm. <laughs> that guy, Tom Brady. Yeah. Everybody else, Coach Ben. Belichick sees it. Mm, good. Coach Belichick sees it. Good luck it. to him next year. And that is, Coach Belichick will be just fine. Yep. Did you see the man flexing? Ain't nobody else flexing. There are a lot of those, those oh. centennial guys. There are a lot of guys that have Hall of Fame. Mm. I have gold jackets. Some of them have Super Bowl rings. Mm. I only saw one guy <laughs> flexing on him. wonder if he'll be flexing after four or five games <laughs> with Jarrett Stidham as his quarterback. Flex on him. Flex yeah. on him. Flex. Confident. I'm like, flex on him, Coach. Yeah. So <laughs> how, how can you say Green Bay's in the top five of window open with an almost 37-year-old quarterback? Well, how do you, how do you say the Cowboys with an underperforming team? Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, they're young, mm. but they underperform more consistently than not. Mm. They did. What about Jason Garrett? Okay, Skip, what about Seattle? Mm. DJ Metcalf, lock it. I give you that. I, I'm okay. So how they behind but the Cowboys? The, well, because of the youth and the potential. The potential is everywhere. It's explosive. On his best day, he ain't better than Russ. Huh. On his best day! How's Russ now? I don't care if Russ 46. Mm. On his best day, Dak Prescott mm. is not better than Russ. And you can't convince nobody mm. that he is. Is Russ a granddad yet? I can't remember. Don't worry about it. He about to be a dad again, but he ain't no, he ain't no granddad. <laughs> Skip, you a hater. Hey, look, I, uh, all this notion about the Cowboys, the Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. Skip, it's not going to happen. Mm. And you can't manifest it, it, it by talking about it. The, the, the topic, the expl- you know, the setup for this is not, are they going to win next year's Super Bowl? It's just who has the most open window It's a key for how hole, long? It's a peephole. And, and remember, you're going to have to put up with this for the next four or five years. I don't know about peepholes, but you yeah, do. Yeah. You, you seem to have experience, <laughs> and I have none. Yes, yeah? yes. Okay. Objects are further away than they appear. Mm. Yeah, I know it looks like it's close, Skip, mm. but it's further than it appears. Really? Yes. All I know is I love my team for the next four years because the window is wide open. Well, I've already talked to people. And if we can't do it next year, then there's got the next They're bringing in 100 the cases. Year, I'm putting 100 <laughs> cases on it. 100? They're bringing 100 cases. <laughs> Yeah, you owe me a hundred. Yeah, you're about there, but it's okay. No mercy. Uh, Shannon, for this next one, you can put your LeBron jersey on if you got it. Because we got to talk about the guy LeBron. He not only got a win last night against the Spurs, but he also won the Western Conference Player of the Month for January. LeBron led the Lakers to a 9-4 and record in the games he played in and averaged just over 25 points, 8 rebounds, and 10 assists. This is LeBron's 39th Player of the Month award, <gasps> the most all what? time. Not so bad. Shannon, uh, did, did LeBron deserve this? <laughs> you know he more than deserved it. Hold on. How long did they be giving out this award, Skip? They must have just started giving out this award when LeBron got into the NBA. Because I know they couldn't have been giving this award out in the 70s and the 80s or the 90s. Could they possibly do that, Skip? Because how he got so many and everybody else got so few. Did he deserve this year's, yes! this month? This yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Who else you going to give it to? Dame, that had an unbelievable month, 38 points a game, probably like six, seven assists, that went seven and seven. You want James Harden to have it? He went, se- oh, he went seven and seven. The other guy went eight and se- uh, seven and eight. Skip, stop this. The Lakers, LeBron, 25, eight and 10. Led the West in assist again. AD missed five games and LeBron had to carry the load. Portland was eight and seven. Kawhi missed three games. They ain't played with 10, Jenny. They played 10 games in the month of January. Kawhi sat it down for three of them. I mean, and, and you want us to talk and consider him? You know right. I don't like that's that. That's not right, but I'll correct it. In a minute. It is <laughs> right. It's it right. is right, Skip mm-hmm. Bayless. Oh, oh uh, look, they had the third best rec- rec- record in the West. Yes, Utah had a better record. You want to get the Rudy Gobert, who averaged 12 points? Oh, let me guess, Ja Morant. Maybe Dylan Brooks, because now they out there yapping, talking about uh, uh, Iggy. Mm. Stop playing, Skip Bayless. At some point, Skip, look. We didn't realize, sometimes you don't realize, people didn't realize what they, what they when Einstein, they didn't realize it. Sometimes you don't realize how great a person is until they're no longer there to witness it. Mm. Chopin, Bob, mm. they, these, these great, Skip, you don't really, you like that. Man, that's just, that's just piano. Mm. That ain't nothing. <laughs> They were not saying that in those days. I didn't say yeah, they're like, but now you said that all day. Oh, oh he's front running, he's stat padding. But one day, Skip, it's gonna be gone, mm. and you're gonna wish, man, there are no more LeBron Jameses. Mm. Why? What would I give to see that guy again? I hope you recorded all the games that he played. My my uh, um, DVR feel. Really? Yeah. Wait, is this a discussion of LeBron's historical impact or, or just the month of January? Ten. Can we keep it to January? How about this? Nine and four LeBron, 25, eight and 10. Mm. Led the West in assists. All the other guys, Harden was seven and seven. Dane was eight and seven. So what are we supposed to do? A game over 500, 500, and you won't play out a month? Mm. I wish they might have gave it to somebody other than LeBron. My turn. This is 
simply outrageous. This is so wrong because silly me, I thought Kawhi Leonard had run away with yeah. player of the month, really? run away with it and hidden from the rest of the field. And I told you the other day <coughs> in January, Kawhi Leonard actually started making a very strong MVP case. Well, of the team. No, of the league. <coughs> and if, if I just start with the surface, okay. if, I, if I just look at the games Kawhi played in, <coughs> eight and two they went. Eight and two when Kawhi played. He missed two other games. He missed one because of Kobe. Okay? So he's, he laid out for two. He load managed for two games. But of the eight that he won, <coughs> seven of those were without Paul George. Okay. Think about that. So he goes seven wins in January with no co-star. And what did he average? 32 a game in January with eight rebounds. LeBron was 25 and eight. Okay, and I'll give you the assist. Because, okay. Okay, but LeBron also had f- averaged four turnovers a game. How many anywhere. Kawhi averaged? Not at three. Okay. But, but Kawhi led the NBA in steals in January. 2.4 a game. That is high. So you can have your assists. I'll take my steals. 50-50, but my guy was scoring at a much higher clip. Your guy wasn't playing. Your guy was resting at a much higher clip too. Is eight, uh, well, I'm about to get to that. Is eight and two better than nine and four? It's just better. Yeah. Well, if, well yeah. who's to say if he'd have played those other three games, they don't mm-hmm. lose? Mm-hmm. Who'd say that? Interesting. So during the month of January, my guy made 38 percent from three. Your guy made 34 percent. My guy made almost 90 percent of his free throws. Your guy made 71, which for him is pretty good, but it. It ain't 90. Yeah, so? So now let's get back to some of the issues that LeBron faced in the month of January, shall we? On January the 10th, they played a game at Dallas. LeBron played very well. They won handily. On January the 11th, they played at Oklahoma City. And all of a sudden, I hear LeBron is missing the game with quote-unquote flu-like symptoms. This is in the month of January. Flu season. Flu-like symptoms. (laughs) And the next night, Could we see this, please? He's up on stage at Staples with Bad Bunny. He's with Bad Bunny up on stage. Look at this. He's got the flu. Get away from him. He's got the flu. He's contagious. Look out. Look out. You better stay away. Boy, he looks, I don't know how he did it. It must be that vibranium. Skip, I don't know. Skip Bayless. It's a miracle. Here's the thing. He's up on stage the next up, night after skip. a flu-like you sentence. Get, he load managed against oh. Oklahoma City, and I got no problem okay. with it. Just own it. Just mm-hmm. be honest about it. You can, Skip. Bad you can, bunny. That you, was a bad look. You can be sick and be on stage, wow. but not be able to perform at a high level as an athlete. Mm-hmm. Skip, it wasn't a good Interesting. look. Interesting. But the man was sick. Flu light. Might have been Flu coronavirus. Light. Who knows? <laughs> Who I don't knows? know. <laughs> and then uh, a few days later, January 20th <laughs> happened at Boston. And even the great Shannon Sharp across from me, less Shannon Sharp as I call him, he had issues with LeBron because he took off in the afternoon and drove yeah. across the state okay. of Massachusetts to Springfield mm-hmm. to watch his son Bronny play in a game. Eh, not that big a deal, except, well, you got a game that night at Boston Garden. Did okay. he play in the game? I'd have had a bigger issue if he takes off to go see Bronny and he doesn't play. Your guy didn't go take off and see nobody and didn't play. The Lakers lost by 32, and you can't tell care. me it had didn't have anything to do with LeBron driving it across the, straight in the state and driving back. It didn't. Lost by 32, and he had it, an okay game, but he scored a grand total of 15 points in that game. How many, re- how many he assists? He took a season-low five, I'm sorry, 12 shots and made a season-low five field goals. How many, how many, uh, how many assists did he have? He had 13 game. in that game. Uh-huh. They lost by 32. And something happened in that game. I, th- can I remind everybody, this is the Western Conference oh, Player of the Month. You go. The <laughs> Player of the Month got dunked on by Jalen Brown. And he hung on it. He hung on the rim and went Kawhi just got dunked on it other night. It, it was Chappelle Prince. <laughs> Look at this. It's the Prince skit. Yeah. That's, that's the GOAT. He got dunked on, and so, he got player of the month for that? You're disqualified on that play. So you get that d- play alone, it's over. Well, Kawhi just got dunked on? Kawhi just got dunked on the other night. He gotten dunked on. Yeah. I, I see him dunking on a lot of people, but I don't see him Oh, so what about on. LeBron? Did, hold on. Did you see LeBron go baseline last night on DeRozan mm. and flush it home on him? I just told you they're pathetic. Oh, that they're, they're ranked pathetic. 24th in defense. They don't defend anybody. Okay, they're pathetic. They gave, the, the Spurs gave up 42 last night in the fourth Woo! quarter. Run that back! Run that back! Look at this! Oh! Boy, that's awesome. One hand on your that mama. That is awesome. That yeah. Is awesome. So how could 
How could you steal this from Kawhi Leonard? I don't know. Did they give it to LeBron because it, of the pregame speech that he made no, on Friday it, let me, night? Let me Was that it? Let me tell you how they stole it from him. Is it a, they said, we need you to show up at this, at this uh, location, mm. and Kawhi didn't come. Mm. They said, we need you to show up and play in the game, and, LeWhi, and Kawhi did not do it. That's wow. how. Wow. You got to play, Skip Bayless. You got to play. And besides, you said the war didn't even matter. Mm. So Kawhi just, he low management. He ready for the playoff. Wars don't matter to Kawhi. So he took two games off for load management. LeBron took one game off and obviously lied about it and then showed up on stage with Bad Bunny. So that's that's the equivalent of taking two games no, off. No, it so ain't. it's two to two. No, your guy missed three no. games. How, how could you do this to Kawhi Leonard? What, 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 it's just shameful that you wouldn't give him. Play. Listen, he was on a tear. Uh, there was an eight-game stretch where he played in all eight. Hello. He averaged 35 a game. Hello. You play the game. Mm-hmm. That's what you do as an yeah. athlete. You yeah. play the game. Tell LeBron. You don't get to be, Skip, this is not a nine to five mm. where you call this if I got an upset stomach mm-hmm. when you actually hung over. Wow. You got to play. The Lakers in, in the final seven games of January went three and four. They got embarrassed on Kobe night by the Portland Trail Oh, so hold on. So you said the last game of January, they went, how, what, what was the record? Three and four. They, so, they so, lost four of their last seven in January. So but prior to that, they won 10. So prior to that, they were undefeated, huh? So you what? just want to take the last seven games, but you don't want to do what? what? So what Boy, happened? He to- just built momentum toward player of the month, didn't he? Gaining momentum. Three and four in the last like seven. Like MC Hamilton. Let's give gaining, it, let's gaining, give it to LeBron. Who else let's could? Give it to LeBron. How who, do you do that? Who else could I mean, you have given I mean, it, it to? I mean, it plays well. It looks good. It's like, okay, is it just a PR move? Stop doing it. Is it a blind witness move? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what are we doing? What are we You know doing? what? It'll only motivate Kawhi to say, okay, watch this. Well, how, how does anything motivate? Motivate him. He didn't have no emotion. Remember? I, no, he I thought terminate. maybe it was a, uh, we want you to play. Mm-hmm. You're, you're not going to get a reward yes! if you don't play. Play! Mm. You play, Skip. You're an athlete. Bad Bunny. What happened? Didn't look good. Load managed. I will agree to that. It was a load managed game. Well, guess what? Hopefully Trick Daddy coming. We'll be on stage with Trick Daddy. I'm going to be right up there with him. Okay. Because Shane love the kid. Okay. That is fine with me, but just own the load management. That was like me up there on Friday night with O'Weezy. Yeah, I know. O'Weezy. I was up there with O'Weezy. Oh, Weezy. saw Shannon. Yeah. You, you yeah, posted Yeah, O'Weezy. I was on that thing with O'Weezy. Mm-hmm. He's a shout out to his boy, huh? Yep. Did you yep. have a good time? I got it. Mm. Had a great time. So one of us drove his Lamborghini and the say. other one got invited up on stage. I, I think I'll take the Lambo. I Just get, me? I started to get that big, he got that big rig out there, Skip. Mm-hmm. I started to get that big rig and come down, come down mm-hmm. to South Beach. Okay. But you know what? I, didn't, I just wanted to chill, Skip. You know, mm-hmm. I was there to work. Yeah. See, you want to gallivant all around town, yeah. but Shannon Sharp went down to Miami to do Undisputed and work. Mm-hmm. That's all about that work. Mm-hmm. You see, that's the difference between you and I. Mm-hmm. You want to drive a Lambo, I wanted to do a two and a half hour show daily and make sure I was on point. Mm-hmm. That's Skip what I do. Living his best life. That's what I do. You were cruising around. You're at the beach. Life was good. How did I win every debate, every <laughs> show, every day? <laughs> That's what I do. And, and you were working so hard that you flipped your pick and you <laughs> took the 49ers. <laughs> and you flipped your pick and you took Garoppolo to win MVP. Yeah. That's how hard you were researching. I was working hard. Me and know. Steve, me and Steve yeah. were working. Yeah. We didn't go to the beach. It sounds like you got in the Henny <laughs> the night before. Am I right? We didn't go to Heavy the beach. Heavy into the Henny. <laughs> Yeah, Heavy serious. Yeah. Night you know good when I could pick against Kyle and Mike. You yeah. know that. I told you that was a hard pick over my head. Well, you learned your lesson because Kyle taught you a lesson twice. But guess what? You know what, Skip Bayless? I get another get an opportunity next year, Jenny. Oh, yeah. Make another pick, and I got my homeboy because he'll, be right, we'll he'll be right that. back. He'll be right back. We will see. All right, we I'll bet see. you 10 cases right now Mahomes is not the MVP of next year's Super Bowl. No, 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 no. I'll yes. bet you he'll be in the Super Bowl. 10 cases, 10 cases. MVP. No, MVP. no, 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 no. Well, if he's in the Super Bowl, he's got to be the MVP. No, he doesn't have to be. Well, why not? Because Joe Montana. He's the GOAT. Joe Montana was in the Super Bowl. He wasn't MVP. Well, Tom well, Brady's been in the Super Bowl. been. Well, I bet you, what are we going to do about it to Jerry Rice? He, wait a second. Montana throws a last second touchdown pass to John Taylor, and they give it to Jerry Rice but you do. because the votes had to be in with like three minutes left. But in you the game. saw Jerry get him all the way down there, Skip. That Jerry was Jerry went off. Well, he got had like 200 yards receiving, <laughs> he did. whatever it was. Hey, what you call it? Lewis Billups? Uh, uh, supposed to had to pick that ball that Joe threw. That would have been the game. That would have been, it'd have been over. You could make a case, but he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. No. Yep. Okay. Safe so, to say, we all had a good time. In we Miami. had a great time. We well, all enjoyed it. We loved the others. audience. I was working hard. You hey, were hard. Come you. on. I was uh, really hard. No mercy. 
And all eyes were on Zion Williamson last night in his first matchup with reigning MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo. Zion was able to put up 20 points but shot just 5 for 19 from the field while the Greek freak dropped 30 34 points and grabbed 17 boards in the Bucks 120 to 108 win. So Shannon, what did you learn about Zion last night? Well, he struggled, um, especially against this long team. Skip, they're long. They got the two Lopez brothers. They got Giannis. They got Chris Middleton. They're a long team, and they're they're more athletic than you think. Especially when they got low. You know, you don't think Lopez brothers, Robin and Brooke, are very athletic. Huh. But they're so long, and they take up so much space. We know what Giannis is. Giannis is special. I mean, he's lucky he's going to average 30 and 15. Chris Middleton is another long defender, Skip. And Coddington, Coddington caught him a body last night. Connerton. Codd- yeah. Coddington, yeah. The, from Notre Dame, Notre Dame mm-hmm. kid. He got some bounce. <laughs> I, think he, I think he surprised the, the Pelicans when he went well, to the he <laughs> set the record at the combine for vertical. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Skip. He's in the dunk contest. Dunk contest, contest yeah. Got it in him, Skip, yeah. I, I think for me is that Zion, because it looks like they're playing him at the five. Mm-hmm. Skip, he's going to struggle. He shot one for seven against, he shot one for seven against Giannis, two for seven against Brooke Lopez. He's at a decided advantage. Yes, he has tremendous bounce, but you have to realize he's given up so much, so much height because mm-hmm. Lopez is just putting his hands up. Mm-hmm. If he can't beat him off that first step, get around him, dunk the ball, or lay yep. it up on the backside, mm-hmm. he got no chance. And until he develops that outside shot, Skip, and remember, he has yet to make another three since that first game that he, he was, what, four for four. Mm-hmm. Yep. And so that's the thing. I, I told you that was an anomaly. Look, he's a rookie. He struggled, and he's going to struggle. Yeah, he had 20 points, but it took him 19 shots to get that. So, look, <clears throat> he's going to be special. He's going to block some shots. He's going to get some, you know, we saw Sunday skip. They lobbed him, uh, Zion, uh, Zion, Lonzo lobbed him one from beyond half court, basically the three-point line on the other end, and he caught it. He's going to have moments, but skip, he's going to have to develop an outside shot because they're playing him at the five, and he's so giving up so much height. Not weight, but height. So he's at a decided advantage. So, I mean, hes I, I believe he's going to be a, a, a good player. I don't see what you see. You see transcendent, maybe an MVP. I don't see that yet. But he struggled last night, and I believe he's going to struggle against bigger guys. Hmm. So I want to put last night in some perspective. Okay. okay. My favorite word. Giannis is in his seventh NBA season. He's played in 511 games and 34 playoff games. Wow. It's a lot of basketball. Yep. Grand total, 17,872 minutes huh. has Giannis played mm-hmm. in this league. Last night, Zion played in his seventh game, and he now has a grand total of 189 minutes. So just frame it with that, because there were the first couple of years with Giannis when he was the Greek freak, he was really having a hard time. He wasn't nearly as physical. He hadn't gotten his man body Yeah, he yet. got his man body now. He, <laughs> he was getting pushed around, and he didn't get it. He didn't play very aggressively. He didn't play at all physically. Mm-hmm. It was all finesse. And now he is starting to dominate this league yes. in ways that I didn't even see coming. Right. He is pulling away in PER. I think he's starting to run away with the MVP again. I think it's a two-man race, Kip. Well, I, I, think it's LeBron, I think it's LeBron and Giannis for the MVP. I really do. Well, look at his PER. He's just pulling away like crazy and James is second he's four points behind him so it's it's huge just 33 to 29 and then in PER points Mm -hmm. those are huge that's a Mm -hmm. giant gap between him and James right okay so you got the perspective on this what I learned to Jenny's question was what I think Zion learned was just attack them Mm. you're still you, you got bulk and girth and leaping power they don't have. Correct. I, I got you. They are the number one defensive team for a reason. <laughs> sure. Brooke Lopez is second in the league in block shots mm-hmm. because he's seven feet and long yeah. seven feet. <laughs> and, and obviously Giannis is 6'11 and even longer. So you're not going to run up against any better, you know, any longer team than this team unless you want to give me the Lakers, and I still don't think they're as long as these two guys. Not these two. No. So what did I start to see in the fourth quarter? As they started to mount a 
a comeback after a horrendous third quarter. Because remember, at halftime, they're, they're right in the game. Right. But then third quarter, they get blown off the floor. Fourth quarter, here comes Zion leading the charge. And I love him in the fourth quarter because he, he's a fourth quarter player. We saw it at Duke. We saw it again last night. He went attack mode, and he started just taking it right into the chest of the shot blockers because I think Alvin Gentry's over there whispering in his ear on the bench, you got to go after them. Yeah. What, what's the age-old cliche? Yeah. Shot blockers go right into their, their chest, chest. Yep. because they will foul you. Who shot the most free throws in the game last night? Zion, uh, Zion yeah. did. Shot 14 to Giannis' 13, and he made 10 out of 14, which is not terrible. Right. It's not terrible. He still shoots it too flat. He's got to fix. He, he just needs to let it. He, he's got to put a little, a little more arc to it. Just a little more touch arc to it. Mm -hmm. He will figure that out because the motion is pure. Oh, yeah. The mo got a nice rotation good. on the ball. Okay. And by the way, I got to say this real quickly. Lonzo is starting to figure it out because the shot has been changed completely it, it, from it this side like to over here. Yes. He's got it all on the right side of his face. Skip, you talked about Giannis, but what did Giannis do? Giannis couldn't shoot from the outside. Nope. It wasn't until he developed that outside shot yep. that he his game took off because that's what happened last year against Toronto. That outside shot wasn't falling. They built that wall, said, you're not coming in here, and they lose four straight ball games. They did. Now you got to respect that shot because he can hit that 15-footer. He, he has a little three-point range. Now, he hadn't shot the three ball as well as he shot it against the Lakers that game. I think no. he was like five of seven, five of eight, he something was. like that. Skip. He took one last night and right. he made it. Right. So okay. he can make that outside shot because, Skip, if you get up on him, yep. he's going to go by you in that Euro step because he yep. basically can take three steps past half court and he's at the rim. Okay. So what did I see for the first three quarters last night? There were at least five shots – that Zion left on the rim because of the length. Mm -hmm. he, 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 you, you don't see this at Duke now. Right. Not like this. No. And so he, he's up and under. He's a great finisher. He's got great body control. He's ambidextrous, left hand, right hand. And, and he kept leaving little bunny shots right. that would trickle off the rim because he just wasn't quite getting it up over the length. That will change. He'll learn how to use his body to shield them off. And again, he... he those guys can't withstand his body blows. No. If you go, it's it's like a fight, right. you know, like a heavyweight fight. If, if you pound their bodies for four quarters, you're going to march to the free throw line, and after a while you're going to foul them out right. or they're going to start well, backing off. Well, that'll come with time, Skip, because right now they're still monitoring his minutes. They're still yep. playing him in stretches. And when he gets up because, I mean, I don't know, Skip. Maybe he's a guy. Maybe he's going to be like one of those Embiid's for the first couple of years, Skip. They monitor his minutes. They don't let him get to the 40-minute mark. Maybe 35 is the cutoff unless they're extenuating circumstances. It's a nip and tuck ball game. Yep. But for the most part, Skip, I think they're going to monitor his minutes. So it's going to be hard for him to wear on people because he's only coming at them in waves. It's not like Mailman, Skip. Mailman playing 30, 38 minutes a night and his, his shoulders are in your chest for 38 minutes. That's not, what Zion, that's not what Zion is, mm -hmm. is doing right now but look he has tremendous leaping ability he has tremendous quickness and like you said if he could like the first the, the first couple of moves skip you saw he went up on boom dunk. he goes quick boom up and on on the other side so that's his advantage that's what he's gonna have to do but if if they sh shut down that initial move at seven foot skip he's only six six mm -hmm. so when they put their hands up he's not jumping over that okay Nobody plays with more joy and no one plays harder because you saw what happened with what was it about six minutes left in the game. Giannis, I mean, uh, uh, Zion went up over Giannis and just ripped it away from him. Oh, you, you, you better be ready for this. Here's the, sh the missed shot, and he thinks he's got it, and he don't got it because that man will take that ball away from him. We saw it in the summer, summer league, league against Kevin Knox. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so that's what I love. Big heart, big motor. Th that will play well over time because yes. he will just wear people down because he's relentless going after the basketball. I generally liked what I saw, and I think he learned a whole lot last mm -hmm. night because this you, you're not going to get a tougher test than this no, one. No, because like you said, at Duke, they had the best team. Yep. He was the best player. Now he's figuring out, Skip, I don't have the best mm -hmm. team. I'm not the best player on the mm -hmm. court. Now how, navigate your way around that. I feel, Skip, if he can develop an outside shot like Giannis, like LeBron, because early in LeBron's career, he was more of a driver. Giannis was all drive. All drive. Now they can shoot 12, 15. They can got some three-point range. Once he develops that, Skip, now you're going to be on the side.
Well, the Rockets are making moves ahead of tomorrow's NBA trade deadline. Houston will reportedly send center Clint Capella to the Hawks and will receive Robert Covington as part of a massive four-team trade. The Rockets have been leaning towards smaller lineups focused on shooting and were 10-1 in games that Capella missed this season. So, Shannon, are the Rockets better or worse after this trade? Skip, I believe they'll be worse. Um, that's a small sample size to say in 11 games that Capella didn't play. We were 10-1. What are you going to do about rebounding now? I understand you have Tyson Chandler on the, on the roster, Skip, but he's playing less than 10 minutes a game. He's giving you 1.2 rebounds. That's what he's giving you. Now, the teams that are in front of you, you got Jokic, you got Gobert, you got Anthony Davis, you got Dwight Howard, and basically you're going to play P.J. Tucker at the five? Really? P.J. Tucker's about to be 35. And in the games that they were, he, he, uh, Capella didn't play, they shot 46 threes. That's a historically all-time, all-time, nobody will ever touch that. If that. And if the threes are falling, that's all well and good. But we've seen James Harden, Skip, go two for 20. We've seen Russ go one for 13 from the three-point line. So what happens then? You're trying to be like Golden State. But see, Skip, Golden State didn't start that death lineup. That was a lineup they played, you know, maybe to close the game or to shock you. Mm -hmm. And what did teams do to beat them? Pound their butts inside. Well, at least you got seven foot KD. You got a battle in six foot, what, Draymond's what, six, seven? We say six, seven? Mm -hmm. I don't like the move. I think it's a panic move. I think Daryl Morey is just like, he's in the lab, like, oh, let us try this, okay? We had success doing this. Uh -huh. Kind of like, you know, everybody wants to shoot the threes now. What if you got Steph and Clay? Why wouldn't you shoot threes? And KD, why? They should have been shooting 46 threes a game, Skip. They got three of the historically great shooters of all time. Mm. But I don't like this move because it, sound, it looks like a panic move. You're going to have to deal with Jokic. And, and uh, P.J. Tucker, he's a good defender, Skip, but he ain't dealing with the, the Jokic on the block. Mm. He's not going to deal with A.D. on the block. And even Gobert, who's not a, you know, a scoring big man, yep. but at 7'2", with 6'5", P.J. Tucker on him, mm -hmm. he's going to average 30 and 20. Mm. If, they meet each, if they meet this team in the series. Mm. Or if you play San Antonio, what you going to do with LaMarcus Aldridge, Skip? You know LaMarcus just wants to play with his back against the basket. Just, just don't even guard him. <laughs> he, shot, he shot three for ten last night. Oh, my goodness. I'm not even sure he was out there. He, I, he was out there in, in spirit, maybe, but not Skip. in... Three for ten. He, did, uh, he was being guarded by AD. He mm. was being guarded by Dwight Howard, mm. who had some size. Six foot five P.J. Tucker is not about to stop no six foot ten, mm. six foot eleven inch LaMarcus Aldridge. <laughs> my turn. Mm-hmm. I believe the Rockets just got better. Hmm. They just became even more of an X factor in the West because I don't think they're trying to be Golden State. I think they're trying to turn themselves back into what Tony had in Phoenix. Huh. 05, 06, they made it to the conference finals. And they lost to the Spurs and then to the Mavericks. And that was Steve Nash in the eye of the storm, and right? Amari. Amari 6'10". So I'm going to give you that. But there was Sean Marion, what, what was he, like 6'7", Joe mm -hmm. Johnson was 6'7", Quentin Richardson 6'6". Six, six. So it's, it's sort of the same idea, except this is three-point heaven. So they just added a guy in Robert Covington who I really like on defense really? because in 2018 he made first team all NBA yeah. all defense. Mm -hmm. First team. Yeah, he's 3D That's guy. hard to do that. He's a 36% career three-point shooter. But he's, he's only made 2.3 a game. Well, guess, guess where he is now? The, the Rockets have taken 136 more threes than anybody else in the league. <laughs> Think about that. 136 more than the Mavericks have taken, the Rockets have. Well, James taking that more, minute by himself more than they closest. Last night, obviously with no Capella, no Russ last mm -hmm. night. He load managed. They're, they're load managing Russ like crazy. He's missed eight games. So they're doing a Kawhi treatment of him to try to keep him 100% healthy and ready to, to fly around when the playoffs, playoffs come. So last night they took 63s, 6-0, and they made 20. Okay, 20 of 60 is not, not, not all bad. that bad. You, know, it kind of, it you kind prefer of about 25 or 60, yeah. you can but, live with that. But I've never heard of a, of a sort of a starting lineup where they all have double-figure three-point attempts, and they came close last night because Daniel House took 11, Eric Gordon took 12, and missed all 12. That's hard to do. He went 0 for 12, and they still beat Charlotte. James took 11, 
and uh, PJ took eight, and uh, Macklemore took nine. So they're almost all up there in double figures. Mm -hmm. So that's how they're going to play. They're going to shoot 50 or 63s every game. We'll get a real good look early on mm-hmm. what that lineup's going to no, look like. Because they got the Lakers on Thursday. They got them. Yeah. Okay, we're going to see what you do with AD. Okay. We're going to see what you're going to do when they bring Dwight Howard in the ball game. But I know what they're thinking. AD has to deal with us. Okay. Jokic has to deal with us. Huh. Gobert has to deal with us because you still have to go guard somebody at the three-point line. You do. You put, you put, you put Gobert on, on Tucker. He's the guy the least likely to take you off the bounce. He wants to just spot up and shoot corner threes. Okay. So you take Jokic and Are put him on go here. go out there and guard him in the corner? No, I'm, I, I'm not going to hug up on him. He but, can make that shot. But you do know Jokic on that block, mm-hmm. that's a okay. handful, Skip. Okay, but they're going tit for tat. They're, they're say, you they know, said, we'll look, give we'll you just, two for your three, you, you five, three. You can have it. You can have it. You can do this, and we'll beat you 140 to 135 because we're going to make more that's, threes. That's what, they're playing 80s-type basketball, Skip. You mm. remember the Pistons and the old Nuggets were like, they, was, they would score one. It was commonplace for both teams to get over 150 points. Mm-hmm. So it seems to be this is what the, uh, the Rockets, this type of game they want to play. They feel like Russ was like, Capella, you in here hogging up space. How can I drive the lane? Well, you were here. You got your big guy right there to go block my shot. Mm-hmm. Get your butt out of here. So now they feel they have more spacing on the court. I believe it's more about Russ than James. Yeah, because James played with it for a couple of years. A couple of years and liked it because they could play lob basketball. Yes, lob yes. City that's, how, that's how James was getting 50-point triple-doubles. But all of a sudden, James is left-handed, so he likes to drive left-handed. Russ is right-handed. He likes to drive right-handed. And in the middle camped is that guy. Mm. Yes. And so Russ is probably saying to Dan Tony. Get him out of my way. Mm. He's clogging my my lane. I still believe in order for them to be successful, Skip, Russ is going to have to find a way to play without the ball, because it just he's lost with it. When he doesn't have the ball, he's just like what. I have liked watching them together because they do love each other. Oh yeah, yeah, and, and, you, and they do defer to each other. James has been deferring almost to a fault. Look at Russ's numbers for the year; they're pretty good. Well, you you look at Russ in the month of January. Russ good. averaged thirty-two. He was good. Very good. But, and I know James is capable of going 0 for 15, and you know it happened a couple of weeks yeah. back. Yeah. But he's also capable of making 10 out of 15, and he's capable yeah. of making 19 or 20 free throws. Yeah, he might hit 28 one night, but he might get 60 the next night. He just might. <laughs> so they're dangerous, and I think they're going to be a dangerous playoff matchup. For who? Hmm. Maybe they don't want to see us. The Lakers. No, stop doing well, that. Maybe. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> AD, average, AD average 30 and 30. It'll be a 30 for 30 type of game for AD. Mm. Have we seen one of those lately? Mm. I think Kevin Love might have the last one. Mm. Well, we'll see about that. But nope. I, I, this is now a much more dangerous team. And I do not believe that Daryl Morey is finished yet because huh. at the deadline, True. he might just plunge again. Who said we finished? Hmm? Who said we finished? We ain't got started. Finished. Yeah, right. they have time. Three yeah. But you will see. Can I get line. some cases? Can I get two cases on tomorrow? On thir- tomorrow night? Game? Mm-hmm. Rockets Lakers? Oh, no, 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 no. do that. Well, you can't just say they're going to be so much more Covington excited. Covington has played no games with them. So I'm going to bet Hold a on. case on Robert Covington well, on. in his first has game not, with the Rockets. Has he not played basketball? What do you basketball? want? Do you, want me, you need me just to buy you a case? Has, I can just buy you a has case. Has he not played basketball? Do you need help? So now you say he made two threes a game. Now he's going to a place that he can shoot as many threes as he likes. He'll start making four. Or five of okay, well, they're going to give me two. Go, but give me three cases. He hasn't even tried yet. Stop it. You know the distance. What's the, the point spread on it? Ten? Hold on. You do know the three-point line in Houston yeah. or L.A. Mm-hmm. is the same everywhere. Same. Yeah. 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 I don't know. LeBron probably finesses it. In, oh, my God. It's probably a little closer at Staples. Oh, so, so is, yeah. that, why they got, is yeah. that why they got Covington to put him on LeBron? Yeah. I think they probably did, actually. Triple dub. That would be interesting. Oh, Miss Triple dub. No mercy. LeBron and the Lakers showed up big at Staples last night as they took down the Spurs 129-102. to LeBron was feeling it from long range, hitting five straight threes in the fourth quarter. And he ended the night with a game-high 36 points to go along with seven rebounds and nine assists. And we're now joined by Fox Sports NBA analyst Chris Broussard. Mm. So even though Shannon is already <laughs> celebrating... <laughs> I, I, All I, day. <laughs> I would like to start with you, Chris. In your opinion, don't, you don't pay attention to this. 
What's the top line of your song? Club, Shay Shay. Somebody's or, or, messing wait, with it, your, it, your, it, your lettering. See love? Yeah, what is they, it, what they happened with love? Your, you got some fans. I don't, I don't know say love. How about this right here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder am I still welcome after I yeah, said Clippers yeah. are better yesterday. Yeah, yeah, you you welcome and you. Be careful. Maybe around LeBron you. saw that and uh, <laughs> just had to show just, us something. Just but so creative. How impressive was I, LeBron last First, I'm going to say I can't wait. This is one of the most excited I've been for a topic in a while because I, I know Skip is going to find something. Oh, he, he'll find And I can't imagine what in the world. Really? Because I don't know how, how this is a question. Yeah, yeah. How is this a question? How, how impressive was yeah. it? As impressive as it could be. Okay, he, was, he missed three free throws. Yeah. He was six <laughs> for nine from three. Look, let me just go down the line. First, The first three quarters, Skip, he was a phenomenal floor general. Oh. He's finding everybody, okay. getting guys open threes, getting guys layups in transition. The alley oop to McGee when he got fouled on. The what about double. that one left hand? He switched hand to the left yes. hand and gave it to Dwight Howard. Give you see that one? I mean, oh, okay. the, the, he was a phenomenal floor general. He was plus thirteen. He's got one turnover. He, he's like doing it all. Eight assists, I think, in the first three quarters. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth, and some people say he can't close. He closed. Close what? He, he closed what? He closed. <laughs> the door the was already closed. The historically You can't great close a thing. door that's already closed. <laughs> First of all, this, you can't. Do, don't downplay how good the Spurs are, Skip. They're 22 the Skip, and 28. The Spurs are historically great with an all-time great coach. You know it. Historically Two great, but not 2020 great. He put it on them. Put it on them. Put it on oh. them. The, and here's what I love the most, because obviously the five threes, you know, that was like Zion. He yeah. just got hot and, and he went off. That's not sustainable. What I love the most is he was playing with the joy. We talked about the first two games Ooh, after yeah, Kobe. Yeah. He was sullen, understandably so. But to, last night, it seemed like he had the joy back. That's sustainable. If I'm a Lakers fan, that's what I'm most excited about. Mm. I, I don't. I mean, the Spurs. Don't don't disrespect the Spurs. They beat Skip. the Bucks on the road and the Celtics. But Skip won't That's tell right. you that. Do, do you realize my Spurs are ranked 24th in defensive efficiency? Do you realize my Spurs are 25th in three-point makes allowed? 25th. They're horrible on defense, and they were worse last night because they were back to back. Albeit in the same building, but Greg Popovich invented load management 20 years ago. He's been load managing the minds of his young players to think any back-to-back -back is lethal. They're not into it mentally on any back-to-back, -back, especially that one last night. So you're giving me, look, if, if LeBron James had led a furious comeback, 13 down going to the fourth quarter, I would be... I, I gave him a mock standing ovation to start the show because yeah. he thinks that they just won the championship <laughs> last that. night. You did, Chris. Yeah. You did. You celebrated like there's a parade <laughs> today. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you said something. You said if they were down 13 yeah. and he let a furious comeback. Kind of like the NBA Finals, game six, where they were down 10 to right. start the fourth we're, we're and he right. scored 16. We're, we're talking about some game in early February against a 22 and 28 team. They were up 13 going to the fourth he quarter. He put, Time out. He put them up. Time out. <laughs> Who leads the league by far in fourth quarter shot attempts? The king of stat padding does. Oh. He is running away with fourth quarter shot attempts. Are you believing this? LeBron James, the guy he tries to tell me, he's not a born natural born scorer. He's a facilitator. Yes. When, when I said, gee, I really thought on the return from the Kobe um, passing on last Friday night against Portland, I thought it was LeBron's night to go 60. Do what Kobe did in his final game because LeBron is capable of scoring 60 points. And he scored 22. And he had a real three, a clutch big three that he could have made with 103 left in that game that would have brought the house down if we could see that. Now, this is one that you got to oh, make man. because this <laughs> that you talk about closing. This is where you start to close. Rizzi pushed him and he fell down. It was that a push? And he just yeah. backs yeah. off the three. He just fell away from it because it's like, I don't want to have to take this. And that's Trevor Reza, too. I don't want to take this. I don't want to take this. He pushed him and he labricks it. So the point is <laughs> that, that last night, here are the scores. This is what happened when he made his five threes. 
The, the first one put them back up 13. The next one put them up 14. The next one put up 17. Next one puts them up 18. The last one puts them up 21 points. And then he adds a little bunny layup that puts them up 23 points. That is chasing Kareem in the fourth quarter. That is stat padding. How do you, do you believe that LeBron James, who also leads the league in assists, leads the league in fourth quarter shot attempts because he wants to pass, as he just passed Kobe, he wants to pass Carl Malone, he wants to pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most points ever because that's all he's got to say, I'm better than Michael Skip, Jordan. You do realize, that's all he's you do got. realize, like, when they start the fourth, Anthony Davis is starting on the bench because he's it's played the it. It's the Spurs. So? It, if it were the Clippers, the you got me. The Spurs in the playoff hunt. Skip. Oh, stop it. Skip. You think they're going to make it? Because I don't. No, so but they word, got a shot. So in other words, you're saying they should, <clears throat> according to the who they're playing, they should alter how they play. So instead of AD pl- started playing the whole first quarter and the third quarter, he should not alter that because so LeBron doesn't shoot in the fourth? No, we play out. You play your team. How you your minutes, you divvy up your minutes how you want to, we're gonna divvy up our minutes. Mm-hmm. Now LeBron is playing the lowest minutes he's ever played in 17 years. But that's not enough for you, Skip. Oh, you were cooking last night. You, <laughs> now you know when they cook with this right here. You know something going on, don't you? Know you know what? People fried up the pre. <laughs> you, you know that stuff will clog your arteries <laughs> and it's clogging your vision right there. Because you can't what, see a thing. What this stuff will do, it'll make stuff taste, make, make it taste good. If it's good to you, it might not be good for you. <laughs> but I'm okay. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm going to leave here one way or another, but I'm going to be happy if I eat no fried happy? chicken, my, pour, pour chop with it. You know what I'm talking about. I and then when you're done with stuff. it, you pour, pour the grease right in the can and set it right back on the stove. <laughs> but anyway, Skip Bayless, you always trying to shortchange the man. Now, you told me, you just so told Chris, had they had he led a furious rally, mm-hmm. had they been down, yeah, you would give him credit. I'd say, well, that's In game great. six of the NBA final, okay, they're down this team. is not game six of the NBA final. But he led a rally. The light just went out. Oh, did you? you, you <laughs> too much fun. <laughs> too much partying. Yeah, they're, they're right, they're right, they're right. The <laughs> thing, Skip, how, I mean, I get, look, I get it. It's regular season game. Spurs are mediocre. But how are you yeah. going to take that away from LeBron? I mean, he still was great. 28 isn't even mediocre. They're just, they're below average. But he but still was great. Was he not great last night? We, we, we have last seen night? him get hot in little stretches. Just rarely he'll have a hot hand. We <laughs> saw it back on March 3rd, 2014 at Miami. Do you remember that game against Charlotte? He, he went crazy on. hot that night. He had yeah. the mask on. And he made eight out of ten. So last night he makes five in a row. And you know what always invariably happens after he makes five in a row? The next game, look out, because he's going to take ten and he's going to make one. No, you'll take he, he, he might take ten and make all ten of them. Really? He might do that. Want to bet on that? Yeah, you might do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll take that for ten cases of <laughs> Dish right your now. Rockets. Yep. Yeah, so we're going to find out if that little, that little small lineup, how that's going to play out. Mm-hmm. But, Skip, look, all the, what was the difference between you? And I watched the Nuggets in Portland. Dame Lillard did not do anything different than he had been doing the previous six games. The only difference was the shots weren't going in. And this was a make or miss league, Skip. Mm-hmm. Look, oh, I understand that Friday night, everybody wanted LeBron to go off, go get 45, 50, and then win the game. 60. But the, the, those shots, he took eight threes, he made three. Mm-hmm. That one was wide open. Mm-hmm. It didn't go in. Mm-hmm. He took nine. He made six. Mm-hmm. It went in. That's mm-hmm. the way it works. And he was still getting to the basket. You see mm-hmm. him get Ronald DeRozan. Mm-hmm. Hey, Skip. Hey, and the kids, the last time I saw English like that, old Minnesota fast on a billiard table. Really? Yeah, that's what they call me, Georgia really? Slim. Really? That thing like that. Oh! Oh, you Georgia Slim? Yeah, what they call you, boy. I don't Best know. in the house. Well. No billiards. Do, do you realize the Slim is sarcastic. Yeah, you know, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, but no, Minnesota fast. But I'm saying, Skip, yeah, Skip. I got a mean get billiard game, but I don't play no more like I used to. No. But anyway, you keep trying to undermine old Goat James, and you're going to keep undermining him. I believe it's a two-horse race, Chris Bazaar. It is. It, it's, out of, it's a two-horse race. Okay. Giannis out of Tecumpo and oh, old Gold James. Yeah! P-E-R, Giannis is running Giannis away nice with lead. it. Yeah, it's going to be tough for He me, is Giannis. running away with it. And I'm just tired of you being so disingenuous about, he's not a natural-born scorer. He's taking more shots than AD. LeBron's averaging almost 20 shots a game. AD's at 17.9. But Skip, you you have you, LeBron is not a natural born scorer. I he disagree. Could, really? He, okay, so he he's going to wait, wait a second. So the guy scores. we're saying is not natural born is going to be the all time leading scorer. Yes, in the because league. he he doesn't have the yeah, mentality that. that Michael Jordan or Kobe Bryant had. Right. He doesn't just he could average. 
He could have had seasons where he averaged 35 points a game. But that's not his mentality. Now, he can score, obviously. Yes. But he okay, still so all is I heard a large before the year started, We're going to run everything through AD, right? That was LeBron's big, big new theme, his push before the year. Yeah. Let's run the offense through AD. Why, why is LeBron taking 20 shots and AD's taking 17.9? But, Help me out. but you also have to understand when AD's out, AD's missed some games. So LeBron has I'm to I'm doing be- average shots per game, so factor that I'll in. I'll give you that. I, and, and you're right how they start the fourth quarter. I, I, I said yesterday, I think they do need to adjust that because I think you got to get AD used to being a fourth quarter scorer. Mm. I do agree with you on that. But I, LeBron doesn't have – that's why he didn't go out. But Skip, He's never scored 60. Put it like this What's here. his career high? Yeah, 50, 50, 61. Has he ever scored yeah, 61? 61? He had 61 okay. in that game I just talked yeah, about against okay. Charlotte. But let me ask you a question. If Kareem has Wilt's mentality about scoring, how many points would Kareem have scored? You see the difference? Wilt was a scorer. Because we, we hype in what Dame Lillard has done, and it's been impressive. But that six-game stretch where he averaged 48, Wilt did that 66 times. Okay, but you're, you're talking about two different personalities. That's my point. Okay, w- Wilt was an ego maniac, about, and, and, and Kareem was a basketball player. Well, that's like, my he, point. He appreciated- Kobe, was- Kobe and, Le- and Michael yeah. were scores. That was their mentality. How many guys average 25 points and seven plus assists a night? How many has ever done that? Probably Oscar and LeBron. So that lets you know, yes, he can score. Skip, I mean, you don't get to 30-plus thousand right. points not being able to score, mm. but we've <clears> never <throat> seen anybody have that assist level t- mm. that LeBron has. If he just said, you know what, instead of averaging eight assists tonight or nine assists, I'm just going for how many points, mm. and I average three or four like somebody else we know that stays mm. in the basement. He so, gets a little, little piddly three, four assists, so and you hype. How, how do you explain the – the great facilitator LeBron James taking the most shots in the fourth quarter in the NBA. Help me out. Skip. What's so, that tell you? So let me ask you a question. You want, let me ask you. you want Rondo, uh, Caruso, Dwight Howard. Who you want shooting the ball? Kuzma. <laughs> who's about to be an ex-Laker. He let Kuzma get two threes. Yes, points, in the midst of his run, and, he got two threes. Did in he there. make them? Yes, yeah, yeah. He did. yeah. I, I, here's the problem he's... with trading Kuzma. He makes so little. I yeah. know. Like, like DeMar, they really were talking with the Knicks about Marcus Morris. And look, maybe it'll happen, but they'd have to throw Danny Green in to make it work financially. So and I, they don't right. want to give him, so yeah. I, you know, or somebody like that. So I, that's going to be the trouble with trading Coos. Mm. I, I, Overall, I think mm. it could happen, but. You didn't have, have Ernest to have your chef come in there mm. and cook you up some pork chop yeah. with that right there. I don't know if By the way, be Marcus Morris, plan. another one who's on my you know what list. Yeah, he didn't want to go to y'all. Yeah, you bad about he, that. We had a little handshake with him before the year started. He said, no, I think I'll take more money to the, go hey, to the next. He had his hand behind his back with his finger crossed. Is that yeah. on your list? Okay, yeah. Yeah. all right. I mean, but Skip, you know, Rich, I mean, they, I think he and Rich Paul parted ways because Rich Paul they, was his agent. That is correct. And he's like, man, you can't do this, bro. You that. You give me a bad Name. You can't do it to that team, Rich, the classiest organization. Rich Paul, we all, I mean, you can't do that to the horsemen. We are, we're a classy guy. Mm. Oh, not forget about clutch. those things. No, we those are, are not a good sign. Chris, we will have you back well, in a they- bit. Maybe for more of this, I'm not exactly sure. No mercy. And immediately after the Chiefs won Super Bowl 54, predictions for Super Bowl 55 came flooding in. One of those was by a former player and NFL analyst who picked the Chiefs over the Cowboys. This sparked some spirited debate between Skip and Shannon yesterday about whether Mahomes could return to the Super Bowl and whether Dak could really lead the Cowboys to a title. So Fox Sports NFL analyst Eric Dickerson with us this morning. Yeah, closet Good to have Cowboys. You. <laughs> Is that the latest? Sealy, Texas. Why we gotta be talking about the Cowboys going to the Super Bowl? Somehow Thank we're you. still talking Thank about it. I mean, that's like that's like the Redskins going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, really? man, please. All right, Eric, how likely is a Chiefs Cowboys matchup? Uh, you believe in Santa Claus? Not anymore. Thank mm. you. <laughs> uh, not not likely at all. I mean, I, I don't think. I, now the Chiefs going back is very likely. Very. You know, when you you look at the Kansas City Chiefs, this team is built for longevity. Mm. I mean, they have they have a quarterback, they have a, a running back, they have a couple of receivers. Couple. I mean, they have fast receivers. And the thing about receivers, I think about in our day when I played, you know, you, they would take a guy that was a defensive back or running back and put him in receiver because he was fast, but he couldn't catch. Mm. Now, you look at Tyree Hill, he can catch. Uh, you look at Hartman, he can catch. They can run great. I mean, just like that third and 15, you're talking about one of the, the, the best defense in the NFL gave up a big play. To me, that 
won that football game. Mm-hmm. That, that was a changing point in that football I game. I so also. So for me, I believe that the Chiefs can get back. And, and you know, I'm, I'm really glad to see them win for Andy Reid. Yeah. I mean, I think all you, when you watched all the players just hug Andy and tell. just happy for him, <laughs> almost like, like, Dad, we just happy that we happy for you. You could feel it. You, you could feel it. I mean, and, 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 and he, he doesn't have to worry about that next year mm-hmm. going to the next season. Let's, let's talk about the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys, you know, with Mike McCarthy, I think it was it was a good hire, it was a safe hire. It's not a sexy hire. It's not like a wild hire. It's almost like when they hired Wade Phillips. Hmm. You know, Wade went 13 and three there. You know, uh, and then things kind of fell out. But then they had Jason Garrett as the as the offensive coordinator. It's almost like Mike McCarthy and Kellen Moore. You know, you got the the older guy with the with the younger guy that probably one day well, they'll probably want to keep him and let him move up. But when I look at Kellen Moore. They were not the same team as they were with Bill Callahan. You know, running the football. You know, they they were not they they were not. And, and Zeke is still that guy. You know, I think you might think not uh, Skip, mm-hmm. Skip, but but he really is. He's still the same guy. You know, running the football is an art, and I say that all the time. Look at the San Francisco 49ers. That's an art to run the ball. You just can't line them and say, okay, we're gonna go off tackle right, off tackle left. Doesn't work like that. I saw eight and nine man fronts through my whole career, mm-hmm. and we were able to run the football because John Robinson had an art to reign the football. So with the Cowboys, if they don't find a way to really get Zeke going, you know, because it's, it's, coming to, it's, it's about to come to an end. I mean, it's, it's, it's not going up. It's starting to level off now. So they have to find a way to run the football. So for me, I think that with Dallas, I look at Van Der Esch, I look at Jalen Smith. You know, I think getting them healthy, especially Van Der Esch, getting him healthy, that defense I think will play better. Mm-hmm. You know, I think finding Michael Gallup, also, he's a number two, but look like he played almost like a number one, mm-hmm. you know, and could go with Amari Cooper. They've got some upside. I, I like Dak. I mean, I like Dak as a quarterback. I just don't think that they have enough to get to the Super Bowl because Mike McCarthy had Aaron Rodgers, and he didn't run the football with Aaron. So Dallas, they have to find a way to run the football. That is Dallas's M.O. You might not like it. That is the Cowboys' way, to run the football, then throw the football if you give it to me. But the Cowboys going to the Super Bowl, out. I don't even see him. They, you know, I'll, I'll say this much. Mike McCarthy, I think they can win 12, maybe 12, maybe 11 games. Win that division. That's a weak division. That's a really weak division. Mm. I mean, seriously. Including I think I, the Eagles. Yeah, right? I, I, yeah and with, with a healthy, I, I, think, I think they can win the division. Really? But I don't see them going to nowhere near a Super Bowl. No, so, I don't. So yesterday I heard you say, ah, they're terrible. They'll win 10 games. Yes. 10 games is not terrible. Yeah, it is. 10, ten and 6 will work. Hold on. I'll take that right now. Oh, there are a lot of teams that win uh, 10 games. Uh, You're talking about Super Bowl. Uh, but the Cowboys, it's not about the number uh, of games. It's about the Super Bowl. Well, he Super just Bowl 55. Them. He dismissed them and said they'll win 12 games. That's I'm going to dismiss them. No, dismiss them. I mean, My homeboy will be there. Mm. He will be in Tampa, mm. and he won't be pitching a product. Mm. <laughs> He'll be selling the game of football courtesy of the NFL Super Bowl. Is he going to get every break like he just <laughs> got? He got every break you could ever get. Tom Thanks Brady to got breaks. Tennessee oh, Titans. Yeah. <laughs> Skip, right. stop. You Come on, stop this. Look. We see this every year. At some point in time, this madness has got to stop. <laughs> we have these expectations for the Cowboys. Hello. Oh, Dak, Dak. Skip, you're, you had a window. You had a four-year window. Guess when it was? When Dak and Zeke was on rookie contracts. That's your window. That's what we saw with Russ. Mm. On that rookie contract, he got there twice, won once. Pete Carroll robbed him of another because he should have run the football. But every year, the Cowboys, somebody wins the team that wins the Super Bowl. Now we talk about next year, the team that won the Super Bowl going to play the Cowboys in the following Super Bowl. Mm. Really? Mm. Y'all can't even get to the playoffs. At least make the playoffs. If you made the playoffs, I say, Skip, you know what? Y'all might be on to something. Hmm. Y'all couldn't even make the playoffs, and you're going to talk about some Super Bowl. How you go from not making the playoffs to the Super Bowl? Hmm. Really? I, we're just responding to Matt Bowen. Not- wait, wait. <laughs> Matt Bowen's the lead analyst for ESPN.com. Correct. He, he is a really high IQ football guy. I love his stuff. Well, and he's picking Chiefs over Cowboys in the Super Bowl. That's a credible pick. That's a, albeit that a ain't no credible, credible pick. pick. Yes, it is. That's a credible okay. pick. You. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Who I'm taking? I, I didn't pick it. I'm you taking it. I'm taking Kansas City over Arizona. Both Arizona didn't make the playoffs. They got just as good a chance. Kyler Murray might be just as good as Dak Prescott. He might. At the end of the day, Skip, look, Dak Prescott is going to make 25 to $30 million more than what he made last year. Now, wow. your guy, you, you talk about Amari Cooper. Now, if you're waiting, you do realize you, got to play the, you don't get to play the Super Bowl in Jerry World. You got to play on the road. You got to play games on the road. You get eight games on the road. How did he do? 
Dude averaging like three catches a game on the road. Mm. Can I interest you in that? Got 27 total balls. Okay, so Ed is winning three and a half, 3.2, 3.3 catches on the road. Took really? himself out of a game at yeah. New England because he's getting shamed but by gonna, Stephon Gilmore. But, oh, yeah, bump and run Gilmore. Mm-hmm. But so that's what's going to get you to the Super Bowl. You already told me that Zeke already – Zeke is on the decline. He – E- I e- didn't e- say he's on decline. He just wasn't what he was last year. Ed, e- e- he <laughs> running like he's running in Cabo sand. And those That's a good off- line. I and, like those, that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and those offensive linemen, they got their royal tails kicked. I did. But now they're going to the Super Bowl. Mm. I explained to Mr. Sharp earlier <laughs> in the show. I looked down the whole roster, and if we eliminate Jason Witten, which will probably happen, there's nobody who's even 30 years of age on this roster. Everybody is in their prime or just entering their prime. So this is a team, once again, on the verge. What did I say was the big drawback for my team the last eight years? The quarterback. quarterback. Coach Clapp. Oh, my bad. That's all he could do. Coach <laughs> Butt Slap. He could clap and butt slap like no coach I've ever seen. And he is history, finally. He belongs to the New York football giants. He's going to call plays for them. I got Mike McCarthy. I give you not a sexy hire, as you say, but he's a made man. He won a Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers. And for maybe six or eight straight years, he was regarded as the best play caller in all of football, as Andy Reid was the last two years. So, speaking of the Chiefs, you say it's a done deal. Done. They're back in That's the Super done. Bowl. They're a dynasty. They are invincible. <laughs> I say that. They <laughs> lost back-to-back home games this year. They fell behind in a playoff game 24 to nothing to the Texans, and then they fell behind 17 to 7 to the Titans. And then what? And they should did, think did they, 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 they should. Win? Did they win? They should send a, a, a mock Lombardi trophy to the Titans <laughs> for going all the way up to New England and eliminating New England and going to Baltimore and eliminating Baltimore. Because Baltimore is better than Kansas City. Baltimore was better all year than Kansas City. And Kansas City did not have to go to New England or go to Baltimore. That's what happened in the end. Kansas City had already went to New England and put foots in them. They didn't put foots on them. The referees put foots (laughs) in them. There were (laughs) three bad calls in that game. You know it and I know it. It was 23 to 16. Is that putting foots in somebody? Let's go back to to the playoff game. Was it when when, um, was last year? When, 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 year mm-hmm. before, when Kansas City played New England. Mm-hmm. The, the, the hit on the helmet to, to Tom they, Brady. Mm-hmm. Now, that was, I mean, th- they, they would have won that game because Kansas City never got a chance to touch the ball again. Mm-hmm. So, I got to give, you know, you have, yep. to give, you have to give a team credit that, okay, we got there, we got close, we, sh- we probably should have went to the Super Bowl, but we didn't. But you know what? This year, we got there. We were behind in all three games, all three of them. And still came back. Digits. Okay. And, right. And, and came yet, back and won. Even you admitted it was clear on Sunday night San Francisco was just better than Kansas City. You could just see it for about three and a half quarters, but, right? But Skip, you here, could just see it. Three and a half quarters. Okay. But, but, but it's but, a fourth quarter. And then guess what? Kyle Shanahan turned back into Kyle Shanahan. But, but see, the, you know, the, the Atlanta Kyle Shanahan. Okay. But are you are you saying that Kyle Shanahan turned into Kyle Shanahan when Tom Brady came back from twenty five? You talk about the greatness of Tom Brady, but you refuse to say the greatness of. My hey, home boy. But, but I look. I took Kyle off the hook for the Atlanta Super Bowl what? because, because he, Tom Brady. Did. No, no, because he had the MVP of the league who had just been named the night before. What is he? What is who? <laughs> My home boy. We're talking about Jimmy G. Was he the MVP? Oh, he was your Super Bowl pick for MVP. I, I'll give you that. Hold on. But you don't put the game in Jimmy G's hands. It was more that the 49ers and their coach lost the game than Mahomes won the no, game. He gotta no, win, no, he got to oh, win that. Stop you it. get that? I mean, no. Skip. No. Can, can and you, you talk about the third and 15 play. It's the most overrated play this side of the 27-yard touchdown run. Uh-huh. Yeah, if, if, if that would have been Tom Brady had. And I, and I, I'm, I got to give credit. Tom has had some great. If, if Tom Brady would have threw that ball, you would have been like, oh, Vintage Tom Brady. It, yeah. No, That's I would not have. Yeah. That's Vin- what he does. No, 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 no. Vintage Tom Brady were the three third and ten conversions okay. in a row because he threw rockets. Yeah. Go look at them. They're three rockets to Edelman and two to Gronk. Look at that. But, 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 but who was on it? Wait, wait a second. He slung a duck. That's a punt. Tyreek has to stop and come back to catch it. And I was afraid that he waved for but, it to fair <laughs> catch it. But six, and then I was afraid but, he's going to run the wrong way with it because six, he was but, coming back for it. But six foot seven Buckner's hanging. 
hang it okay. all over him. All right, so that's what happened. It's lucky because he threw up a 50-50 ball. That was a 50-50. Some, it was, too. That ball could have been picked that by that, anybody. Kip, do you realize there have been, there've been 10 third and sevens and third and 15 for Kansas City this year? Mahomes is 7 of 10 with three touchdowns. Okay, I'll give you that, but I won't give you the one in the Super Bowl because that's luck. That ain't no luck. It but, is luck. But does it count? Well, it counted. Well, yeah. there you go. That's you know why it counted? It because counts. some second-year corner who's got the oh deep. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Don't laugh. He's got the deep third, and you have to sink. It's third and 15. Just sink to the to your depth of 15 yards and have three across. And he jumps Sammy Watkins on a on an end cut. Yeah. And I'm like, what are you doing? Because he leaves the flank wide open for Tyreek just to turn it out. Yeah. And he's just standing out there. I got it. I got it. But Mahomes, skill. And Mahomes didn't even get a chance to really set his feet. Yeah! He had, he had, to, he had to. No, he didn't have to. He could he, set his he feet. He could not set his okay? feet. It was, was lucky. That ball could have gone and, anywhere. And we, but it did not. That's the greatness of, that's the greatness of Patrick Mahomes. Is that a it great did. throw? Yes. That's a great throw. You just throw it up for grabs? It, it, wasn't, like a, it wasn't like a Hail Mary pass. Well, it was kind of Hail wait. Mary-ish. <laughs> How about this? Here? Let me ask you this. If, Jimmy, if Jerry Jones has Patrick Mahomes as his quarterback, is he haggling by the hometown discount? Simple yes or simple no? I have no idea. What, what if what if the agent's asking for sixty million a year? He yeah, they'd be haggling. Hold on, you gave Tony Romo, who won you nothing. This guy's an MVP and a Super Bowl MVP. Okay, it, that's a blank. As Colin said, that's a blank check that's guy. Blank check. Oh. What you, want? you can't have a blank check when you have a salary cap. You, yes, you can't. Can. Yes, you can. What if he says, I want $100 million a year? You're going to write that check? But he's not going to say gonna it. You're not going to do it. No, oh, well, then don't tell me. No, no. I'll give, I'm giving you a hypothetical Six. back. <laughs> You're no. saying, what if? No, here's the thing. I give you a no, what if. No is he writing that check? No, no, he's not. No quarterback has made, got makes more than 36. So 40 to 45 is very realistic. Well, is that a blank well, check? Well, yes. There's no such thing as a blank check when you have a salary in, in cap. NFL, that's really well, a blank check. If you want to do baseball, I'll give you a blank check. And they have, you have to see what the new CBA is. I mean, it's, it's going to be yeah. more money out there. Yeah, yeah. sure. It's going to be it's going to be more money. Complicating so. everything. Yeah. Okay. Hey, yo, you want that seventh game? You want that uh, seventeenth that extra game, extra playoff game? Okay, fine. Cowboys ain't going no Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, that sounds crazy. Okay. I mean, but I'll, I'll take twelve wins. I got a shot, yeah, man. I don't care nothing about the wins. Really you know what? You give me twelve wins, I got one home game for sure. They, they got for they, sure. They, and you they lose. Got, they, got, huh? they got thirteen. I mean, how many home games you done lost? Skip. We beat Russell Wilson a year ago in a home playoff. You ain't game. beat Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't beat OA Rod. Uh, we'll All right, the old man. <laughs> no mercy. So Tom Brady did make it to Super Bowl 54, but only on the field before kickoff as a member of the NFL 100 all-time team. And yesterday, Brady posted a picture to his Instagram story with a caption that said, I am not wearing a blazer to the Super Bowl next year. Ooh. So, Eric, where will Tom Brady be next season? Uh, Tom Brady will be right in New England next really? year. Really? Oh, most mm. definitely. Yeah. He's, most he's, definitely. He's not. He's not going years. anywhere. I mean, I don't. I don't see Robert Kraft letting that happen. I mean, mm. think about it. This guy has played his whole career mm -hmm. in New England. Mm -hmm. His whole career. And you might say that Bill Belichick wants to get rid of him, or they they don't see eye to eye, whatever. He but, does. But <laughs> but the but the owner of that football team <laughs> is Robert Kraft, yeah. and Robert Kraft loves Tom Brady, mm -hmm. and Tom Brady's been, done so much for. For New England, for I mean, for the National Football League, I mean, it really has. I mean, you might hate the Patriots. I don't like. I never liked the Patriots, even when they didn't have Tom Brady, because I thought <laughs> they cheated and they were sorry. No, they were sorry. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, he's done. He's done so much. I just don't see him. I, I don't see him going anywhere. I really don't. I can't. I can't picture it. I see Bill Belichick leaving before Tom Brady mm -hmm. would leave. I, and that's that's what I would see, mm -hmm. because I feel like that. You know, he had a chance to keep Jimmy G. Bill Belichick did. No, not a chance. I take the bet. He didn't. They didn't give him a chance to keep. Him. They, mm -hmm. they got rid of him. And I think that really, like, oh, mm -hmm. this, this, that would have been my chance. I, I, I had, I had another dynasty. But okay. still, the Patriots are a very good football team. This year, they had a great defense. You know, people say, oh, this is one of the best defenses they had. Uh, special teams. Um, I'm the one of the ones. I'm, I probably, I'm the first guy to say Tom Brady called him an old ass man. I mean, really. I mean, it's the truth. He, he, is, he, is, an old, he is an older guy to play, play football, but he still plays at a high level. They're in a division that they should win. It's not a tough division. They will right. win that division. So they'll be, what, they were 12 and 4 this year. They'll probably be 12 and 4 next year, 11 and 5, 13 and 3, or something like that. So I don't see Tom Brady going anywhere. I, I, don't, I don't see that. Hmm. I don't believe he plays in New England. Skip, I, I don't. 
I can't definitively pinpoint a place that he'll go, but I think in order for him, he has to go to a place that gives him the best opportunity to win a Super Bowl. Skip, it's just not about getting out of New England to show, you know, I, I just needed a change of scenery. It's about winning Super Bowls. He has to win one. Coach Belichick, first to the Super Bowl to win, who is the winner? It's as simple as that, Skip. This is a race between Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. Because if he stays there, we're in the same, we're having the same discussion. Mm -hmm. And you and I have the discussion two or three times next year. Who's most responsible for the success? Mm. And so it's a race. The first one, the Super Bowl 55 through 60, is the winner. And that's what it's gonna come down to. Now, can he go? I mean, he's looking at it, okay, who has a good offense, who has a good offensive line? Because Skip, he's not mobile like these young quarterbacks that's up and coming, who has a good offensive but line. But he never was. Right, beforehand. right. Yeah. It is, the licks hurt Lee more now that you're about to be 43. That's true. Who has an offensive line, wide receivers, and a defense? So, I don't, Skip, honestly, I don't see a Peyton Manning situation. Peyton Manning got the perfect storm. Yeah. You had a young Demarius Thomas. You had a young Decker. You had Julius Thomas. No Sean Marino. Mm -hmm. Offensive line, they went and got Vasquez from San Diego. You were set. And then you bring in Aqib to lead. And, and, and remember, the Denver team, albeit with Tim Tebow, right. they had won. Right, they, right. They, they won the, the division. Right. And all of a sudden, you get to step into a team that won the division and a playoff game exactly. and say, okay, here we go. So now we're looking at, okay, people mentioned uh, the Raiders. They didn't make the playoff. Mm. The Chargers, they didn't make the playoff. Chicago, they didn't make the playoff. So all the teams that, you know, that, that sounds reasonable, they didn't make the playoffs. Now, you made the mention on Monday Maybe they said, okay, Jimmy, you got to go. We're going to take Tom Brady for two years because we believe at the quarterback position is that where we're fall that's where we're, we're, we're lacking. Yep. I believe we can get there. Okay, that would be an ideal situation. Mm -hmm. I don't see that happening, but Skip, I just, I just think there's been too much blood, bad blood, between Coach Belichick and Tom. Now, I just Skip, I know that, you know, when they had the Centennial team and Coach Belichick said it was great to just, you know, shoot, uh, you'll be on the set with Tom and talk football, and they were all took a big old picture with all the patron, former Patriots, and they yucking it up. But Tom knows. He knows. You tried to get rid of me <laughs> while you up here smiling for the cameras. <laughs> they do a good job, obviously. Yeah, yeah. They a do. lot of the time. They play nice. Yes, they, they put do. up a good front, but it's a front. And yet, I'm back to your premise, and I'm intrigued because you're right. The buck stops with that owner and his yeah, son. Yeah, you got it. And the bucks are going to flow toward Tom Brady for the first time in his career. He's never made more than $23 million. That was last blood, year. And that was that last year. After $8 million dollar bonus. Okay, and already the reports that it's going to be 30-plus. If, if Tom went to his daddy, you know, Robert. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Trump, yeah, and said, hey, I want 35 next year. I'm pretty sure he would give him 35. He would. Because he needs Tom to finish in New England for all the reasons. It's it's yeah. it's good for the National Football League. There you go. It That's is. It. But again, Tom is looking at this like I just don't know if I can put up with him another year right. or two. And furthermore, I got to tell you, by the end of the year, that looked like a below-average football team to me because he had no receivers who could separate. They were last in the NFL in separation. His number one target was Julian Edelman, who's an aging, beat up. Little, slow, the slower and slower wide receiver who led the NFL and dropped passes last year. Really? You want to go back to that? I thought Nikhil Harry would have an immediate impact. He did not, but he didn't play until the last eight games. Right. And then he didn't exactly distinguish himself. He didn't, he didn't himself. flash for you. He did not flash for me. And maybe a couple times against Dallas yeah. once he made one catch. And then against the Kansas Philly. City he made one catch. Remember the big okay. catch against yeah, Philly? He did. Okay. I give you that. But it wasn't, I think, what Tom was expecting. And furthermore, that defense just has a bunch of cogs. Stephon Gilmore won Defensive Player of the Year, but after that, show me somebody. <laughs> High Tower is pretty good, but is, is it star studded? Mm -hmm. No. It's well coached, obviously, and it, it had a historic run for about eight games. And then Fitzmagic goes in there and just blows the doors off of it and goes 80 yards for a touchdown to beat them in the game that really mattered because they were going to be the two seed. And we would have had a whole different conversation. Right. So does Brady really? He, he's going to sit with Belichick, with with Kraft trying to mediate, moderate, and and he's going to be saying, Coach, what what you got this year? What what are you going to do to upgrade? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. my thing. Well, what can you do to upgrade? Are you Gronk seems to be having a great time in retirement. He sure it is. Appears. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. but, but 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 think about it. Okay, where where would he go? The Raiders. Come on, let's be for real. Yeah, I, nope. come on, the Raiders. Nope. Chicago. Come nope. On. No, no. Mm -mm. I mean, San Diego. 
They ain't even got no fans. LA Charger. I'm sorry, my bad. Okay, LA, but, LA Charger. Okay, but, wait, 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 wait. but they are moving into yes. a beautiful new building, and you're going to... No Ram Bass. That's the Ram Stadium. Oh, you don't want to share the beer. You don't want to share the park. Oh, man, please. That's, that's the Ram Stadium. So, so, yeah. so it's yeah. like Staples where the other team has to stay in the basement? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's what it's like. Is that how it is? That's how it is. I mean, seriously. I mean, when you th- think about that, I mean, Tom Brady wearing a Raider uniform. That don't even seem right. No, nope, Tom Brady wearing a Bears uniform. It didn't seem right that Joe had a Kansas City uniform on. Yeah, but that was that was 30 years. That was 20 some years ago. Emmy had a Cardinal uniform on. It's a different league now. And you know that. How about Tom Brady in that powder blue? Blue and what is it? Yellow or whatever the had the, the charge had Joe Namath. Charge. Joe Namath no, in a Rams no, uniform. No, no. Still feels weird. It's, it's just it's, mm. it feels weird. And, I, and one thing is, you're right. He doesn't have any weapons. I, I really believe that Tom could still be somewhat Tom if he had some weapons. You saw yeah. this year when he's on the side and tell him, "Hey, you got to get some separation." Yeah. And you know as well as I know, Shannon, in the NFL, that's separation. Exactly. You know. Thing. That ain't separation. <laughs> that ain't separation. And this is really separation. Mm-hmm. But they don't. He had no one. I mean. But it, Edie, you remember, nobody does more with less than Tom. Tom Brady. I okay, do, you I got him. less. Now show me you can I, do I, more I, with it. Skip Bader, <laughs> Skip Bader should come out here. No, he could go up there. He came out there. He pointed three guys from Dorchester. Mm. This time he got those two guys from Southie. Mm. You, you, and you. Mm. Get down here right now. We're going to beat somebody. <laughs> go beat somebody. Mm. Now all of a sudden. He win. Oh, Tom Brady's great. He lose. He got no help. Mm. <laughs> He was 12 and 4 now. I mean, you can think well, about that. He's down to like yeah. three guys from Wichita Falls. He's taken up from anywhere. <laughs> oh. they, they were a long way from home, man. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah. Oh, Eric, always good to have good, you. Thank you. Appreciate your insight. No mercy. LeBron did not only got a win last night against the Spurs, but he also won the Western Conference Player of the Month for what? January. Yes, he did. What? Skip LeBron led the Lakers to a 9-4 and four record in the games he played in and averaged just over 25 points, 8 rebounds, and 10 assists. This is LeBron's 39th Player of the Month award, the Ooh. most all-time, just so all of you guys know. Most all time. 30. Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. You, you done have three years of the play of the month? That's right. That three years! We're talking about January. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. January. Right. So Chris Broussard <laughs> is back. In your opinion, did LeBron deserve to win this award? Let, let me say this. I don't know where Skip's going. It shouldn't have been Kawhi. <laughs> he deserves it over Kawhi. And here's table. why. I don't know if Skip's going there or not, but Kawhi led the Clippers to 8-2. Mm-hmm. 32 points a game. That's nice. But he missed nice. three games. He missed, I mean, I, I think Kawhi disqualifies himself for all these regular but I season. I said, awards. if you don't play, you don't Three play. games, you just decided, you know, you're sitting I'm now. cool, I'm chilling. And then <laughs> field goal percentage, uh, rebounds, assists, LeBron had him beat. So, no, he did not. No, in, 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 rebounds, in January? In rebounds, LeBron eight, eight to eight. Eight to eight. Wasn't it seven for Kawhi? Uh-uh, eight. Eight you to eight. sure? I'm, that's what I wrote down. All eight right, to eight. Okay. He rounded up. He rounded I, I, up. Right, right, right. 32 and eight like to 25 point, and eight. I think it was 7.6 uh, or something to 8.4 uh, okay. or whatever. Uh, but anyway. Well, what did LeBron shoot from but, three? Help me out. Well, hold on. Here's, here's my thing, though. When I first heard LeBron won the player of the month, one name and one word was ringing in my head. Dame. Mm. Damian Lillard. Right. And I, I had to do a double take because I was like, this streak did happen in January, Started right? January. Did, was it December? Was it for, no? It was January, right. and I think Damian Lillard. I, in fact, I bet you Damian Lillard, the best rapper in the NBA, is working on a diss track right now about the NBA. Because how in the world does he not get? I don't see they how he went doesn't win. Seven it. and seven. No, they went eight and seven. Eight and seven, I believe. One game over five hundred. You want to? No, he, hold on. Hear me out. You know individually. Do I even need to say what he did individually? No, no, he's with- okay. Individually, the, the 61, 50, 47, 48, 34 for the month, 48 from three percent. They went eight and seven for Portland. That's an uptick. They beat Dallas. They beat Houston. Tw- not Dallas. They beat the Lakers. They beat Houston twice. Indiana and Toronto, who's the hottest team in the league. Okay, the Lakers nine and four is a down tick. And they, they beat a couple of pretty good Dallas, Houston, OKC. Everybody else was mediocre or bad. So I'm saying Damian got the uh, Blazers back into the playoff race. They're back in ninth. He that was, ain't a playoff he, race? Ain't no, they're, but they're, they're three games back. <laughs> yeah. They were falling. They were out of it. He and lifted, they're still out of it. I can't. 
Eight and seven is superb let, let, for them. Let me ask you. Nine and four is a downward slide for the Lakers. You in a burning house. You in the basement. You run out the basement and you get in the living room, but you're still in the burning house. What have you done? But you ain't not, got out of danger. I gotta. I, I see the light. I'm, I'm getting out of the house. I'm about to but catch you, Memphis. But you're still in there. <laughs> Memphis ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I can't believe y'all didn't. I would, Dame? I, I, but I, I told Skip. I said, look at James Harden was unbelievable in the month. Dame was up, but... I ain't giving you no eight, seven, one game over 500. Look at this. That's his team. He yeah. made the most with what he got. Exactly. So and he, nine, nine and four is not great for the Lakers. Can we admit that? Yeah. But okay. Actually, but hold on. So how they lose them seven games? Was Dame there for them seven losses? Hmm. He was there. Okay. They beat go ahead, the go ahead, go ahead. Was LeBron there as the Lakers finished the month three and four in their last seven games? Okay. Thank you. So, so we just go take so we just go take the but, three. But you say it winning. No, no, no. <laughs> winning. Nine and four. So which is better? You'd rather be nine and four or eight and seven. I don't Dame don't have look, and LeBron was great. It's not take, but Damien deserved this. He doesn't have Anthony Davis with him. Hey, I, I, I can't get to do with that. He could have had it. He could have left three. He could have left Portland to come over and link up with us. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard ran away with Player of the Month because he did not have Paul George for seven of the eight games that he won for that team. They went eight and two in the month. He load managed two games. One Didn't was, he miss three, though? One was for Kobe. It was a Kobe game because okay. he was very close. According to Snoop, who we had on our show, mm-hmm. he was very close. He was like a little brother. LeBron ain't Bryant. take no games off of Kobe. Uh, LeBron did take off one game in the month. He load managed and he lied about it. He, he said he had flu-like flu. symptoms for a game <laughs> in Oklahoma City. And the next night, he's up on stage at Staples with Bad Bunny. He had a 24-hour bug. You had that 24-hour he bug before? Oh, he's got the flu. Look out. Don't, don't, don't touch him. He's contagious. <laughs> or maybe that fire put it out. I don't know. I mean, maybe first of all, if, LeBron, if the old LeBron I know, <laughs> he'd have been crowd don't surfing. Don't touch him. I know he was sick, don't but he'd have been crowd him. surfing. This was not a good got You know flu. that goes around the NBA yeah. school, you know, the up, and, upper and then respiratory. LeBron had another bad look moment, and even the Hall of Famer across from me said, I can't live with this one, but he had his game at Boston Garden, and in the afternoon he drives across the state to Springfield to watch his kid play. I got no problem with that, but it, it's a big game yeah. night, and you go lose by 32, and worse than that, you get posterized by Jalen Brown oh, in that game. You're, you're disqualified from player of the month just <laughs> off this play right here. Because he, he, he Chappelle princed you. He hung. He hung and he shamed you. Way to go, LeBron. That, that's not the player of the month. Are Hold you up. kidding yeah. me? Hold on. What NBA player you know, Chris Roussard, has never been dunked on? Everybody's been okay. Done. Well, that happened in Everybody's January. So between Bad Bunny and Jalen Brown, you're out. <laughs> no, seriously. And and, and Kawhi go, has an eight game stretch in which he plays every game and averages 35. One night he had 43, had a triple double. He just carried this team to eight and two and averaged 32 and eight for the month to LeBron's 25 and eight. And when I heard yesterday, what about tens? What about assists? Huh? What was the assist total? How many assists could Kawhi have? Mm, he had five to ten. But so, guess what? Guess who led the I NBA? Wait a second. Up. Guess who led the NBA in steals in the month of January? Kawhi Leonard. Case closed. When I saw this last night, I just fell off my chair. I said, what are you doing? Did they give it to LeBron because he made a great speech before the Kobe game on Friday no. night? Yes. No. I think that's what it was. It's just a PR award. Way to go, LeBron. You made a great speech. You got to admit, LeBron had a better month in November statistically. Thank you. And he does this every month. I mean, that's what I'm saying. No. We're consistent. I'm I'm shocked that it was LeBron. Well, why don't we just stop it? Let's just give it to LeBron every month. I'm good with that. We want to just give it to him. You're going to overlook the low The month of February, it's done. It's LeBron. (laughs) And March, LeBron. April. (laughs) When we get to May and June, it's never LeBron. Don't do that, Chip. Don't do that. Don't do that, because we've been yeah. to nine finals, so clearly it's been yeah. about us. Yeah, three and six. Way That's to okay. Go. And That's Ray okay. Allen saved you but, from but how many, seven. But, Skip, did we really think that all I'm saying is if you were to flip the roles and put LeBron on Golden State and put KD in, in Cleveland, the Golden State's still going to win with LeBron and KD and the Cavs are going to lose. Mm. You make it seem like, oh, they were favored. <laughs> they should have beat the Warriors. Really? Mm. Well, KD was under a lot more heat than LeBron was, especially in the first final, because he had joined forces with the team that had beaten them. And what did he do in game three in LeBron's house? He took the game over. Skip. That'll be like it Derek, was easy. Uh, that'll be like hold on. That'll be like saying Derrick Henry joining the Kansas City. Right. And said there's more <laughs> pressure on on on, on uh, uh, Ezekiel Elliott than Derrick. Really, Skip Bayless, this you joined the best team in football. 
five-man game, and you don't think the weight of the NBA world was on Kevin Durant's shoulders that Can night? you imagine, it imagine, was. imagine it was, Derrick Henry yeah. in Kansas City? Mm. Imagine, okay, put nine guys in there and deal with Tyreek, Sammy Watkins, Travis Kelsey, and Nicole Hardman mm. one-on-one with Derrick Henry in the backfield and see what you get. Mm. Okay, I that's what that, you got. I think they'd have an identity crisis. I think that wouldn't be a great Oh, Patrick Humble. Patrick Humble go get his throw. I Did- saw Derrick Henry at Super Bowl. He is Massive. enormous. <laughs> they say 6'3", not 6'3". Yep. I, I was so, blown away congratulations, by LeBron. You got another PR award. All right. <laughs> Chris, thank you. Years. Thank you for being Damn. here. Mercy. NBA All-Star Weekend will see a change to the three-point contest this year. There will now be two added deep shots that are six feet behind the arc. Each of these shots will be worth three points, and 10 seconds is getting added to the clock to accommodate these extra shots. So, Shannon, is this a uh, tweak a good or a bad idea? It's a great idea. Mm. Because they're already shooting the shots like that, Skip. The man called goals by the name of Logo Lillard. Mm. So I'm taking Logo <laughs> Lillard to beat Ice Trey. You know old Trey Young. <laughs> he be letting that thing go in the State Farm Arena. Mm. I got Logo Lillard. Mm. You know what? I already love the three-point <laughs> shootout yeah. enough. It's, it's way better than the slam so dunk con- <laughs> contest has become. <laughs> And it was fine with just the money balls. I don't need to gimmick it up no. because it was great enough already. And now I feel like it's going to become a circus act show. You know, but Skip, the guys are already Skip. The guys are shooting from the logo in the actual game. Yeah, LeBron yeah. shot one in the first half. There last you go, night and missed by five feet. I hope LeBron's not in the three-point shootout. Look, <laughs> I love it. The guys are shooting there. They added 10 seconds. It's going to be fun. The guys can shoot, can really, really shoot the three now. I think Buddy Hill's also in it. Mm. Skip, it's going to be interesting. O'Trey Young, see, you talk about O'Trey Young. Now, see, mm. you should roll with O'Trey. Mm. I straight it. Roll with him? Yep. Well, do you have to defend anybody in the three point shootout? <laughs> no, I don't no, think you do. No, 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 no. And Atlanta's no. record is how? No, it's not very good. Well, they go get, they go get, they go get, they go make a run with he Clint can Capella. Shoot that push shot, you know, that set shot. So who you got in the three point competition? Well, I don't know. It's not, I'm not we'll there see. yet. That is it for us. We'll be back okay. tomorrow morning at 9 no, Thanks for listening to the Undisputed Podcast. I'm Jenny Taft. Join us again at the same time tomorrow morning, 9 30 Eastern. We'll see you then. Of one, of one, of one.